the Honky Tonk Man, WWE Hall of Famer, and you're listening to the history of LJN figures on the episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Did you know the Honky Tonk Man's LJN figure right now goes for over $500 on eBay? That's because the Honky Tonk Man is the greatest WWE Intercontinental Champion of all time. But for me to you, let me say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. This is the complete history of the LJN Collection. And uh, I am your host, Brian Myers, a.k.a. the Scotty Pippen of Wrestling Figure Collecting, a.k.a. sometimes WWE Superstar, Kurt Hawkins. And I'm Matt Cardona, a.k.a. WWE Superstar, Zack Ryder, a.k.a. the Thousand Dollar Broski, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of Wrestling Figure Collecting, and today, a.k.a. Broski Kloss, and I got a gift for you and you. We got a very special guest. Hey, oh! hey Thompson. What the f are you guys doing in Alabama? Oh, this is your house? This is yeah, your, this I mean, is... I think it's Christmas morning and you're in my basement, like, making a lot of noise, waking up the children. What's going on? We want to talk about action figures. Yeah, we're going to, you know, open some figures and review them and scratch that figure itch and... Am I, get, am, I get, am I getting paid for this? I got to call Bruce or something. Did you call Bruce? I don't have his number. Me neither. He doesn't want to answer my text anymore. It's too important. Me neither. Okay. All right. Let's let's start rolling. All right. Well, here we are. Series one. Um, we got to backtrack a little bit and talk about how there was a little bidding war for these LJNs between Remco, Galoob, and then eventually LJN. LJN got it. So forget the other companies, right? Of course. Uh, we also all know that these were actually two ups at one right. point, and the original concept was supposed we'll to be. Explain what a two up is. For those that don't know or don't listen to our podcast, a two up is a scaled up version, is an old school style way of making toys. Double the size. Where they were double the size. Get the detailing down. The, the detail detail down. down. And then they right? shrink them for the actual product. Uh, hence, like. Hasbro two ups are very collectible and sought after. How many of those do you have, Brian? None, because I'm a normal person. Okay. So these are like the Blue Chew version of action figures. They're a little bigger. Yeah. H A R D. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We're the Hard Foundation. Uh, but are you in the Hard Foundation? I'm an honorary hard member. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> honorary <laughs> member. Uh, so yeah. Also, we learned that these were supposed to be not only scaled down, but have the wiring inside of them to be like a bendy a bendy like which they eventually did do but you look at those bendies now like they you need these ljns i mean i think it was like a happy accident these became more iconic right and they're all in the signature poses exactly stuff like that no Um, these these suck (laughs) come on well actually i would love to talk about that so these are dog toys i think before we get into this series one yeah let's get into our our just whatever our memories childhood memories of ljns were because i've i've admitted several times on the podcast I cannot remember an LJN on the store shelf. That's right. just, I mean, I'm Hasbro Series 1. I knew that came out. I remember the commercials, and it was like a big deal for me, but I cannot remember buying these in a the store or, you know, I didn't have a collection. I did have a collection throughout time, but I was, like, getting them secondhand at, like, garage sales and things like that. And I, I had a 15 to 20 growing up, and I had, like, a little side fed, I guess, if you will, of my LJN. Side fig fed? Like side, an indie fed? Side fig fed, but my priority obviously was Hasbro's in that time period. You have a little bit more sentimental right. my, attachment. My whole life I was obsessed with the wrestling. I don't remember my first ever match or my first ever figure, but I grew up with these, so my dad was buying them. I remember being in the stores and getting them or getting them at garage sales, and I had almost the whole set. Uh, I didn't have the black cars, which later on I found out existed and it blew my mind. But yeah, I had all these, Brian. So the fact that you didn't just proves that I am the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting and you are the Scotty Pippen. And I'm fine with that. So, Conrad, what are you- These all <laughs> suck. Okay, well, what, you gotta have uh, some ha- kind of. Hasbro's the jam. Yeah, yeah that, of course. I'm with you. When I saw the TV commercial, I was all in. Made mom buy them all. You know, G.I. Joe, get the f- out of here. I'm all in on these. Yeah, but do you have any memories like your buddies having them or anything were going on? Yeah, up? the older weird kids, they had it, <laughs> yeah. but but no, this this was not cool in my circle of my, friends. Like a couple other memories that I have real quick are my older brother, he like really grew up on these, and he's the one who got me into wrestling in the first place. He grew out of it, and I never did. Um, but he told me that kids would play with these at recess, and the main thing they would do, they would grab them by 
the two legs and bounce them like on the pavement and try to like see how like high they'd go or collide into each other and stuff. Can you imagine? <laughs> I know, seat right? On the ground. See, the uh, ones that I had since I was a kid, I was a little kid. I still have my childhood uh, ones. Still, see, you know Sam Roberts at Mark? Yeah, you, yeah. You ever blow his hair? <laughs> Like a dandy line just goes away. Don't steal my joke. <laughs> steal, my, steal my Sam joke. Yeah. This is anyway, a great joke. It's going away, yeah. He, Be careful. You can't, you can't speak too he loud. Still, he, yeah. <laughs> he still displays his childhood toys. I do not. I have a mint set of LJNs, and then I have my childhood beat up ones in my parents' basement in the original toy box that I used to play with them in. And my fingers on like the figures are all chewed up because I use them as like baby toys. You know, they're all beat up. They're scratched. There's like, like, you know, dried Crayola marker from the blood. You know, you know, they were getting some color, brother, you know. Mm -hmm. So like I have all those and they're destroyed. So, of course, I had to uh, rebuy. But my childhood ones are disgusting because I did all sorts of things with them. I mean, we say all the time, <laughs> all sorts of things. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Why were you chewing on them? What were you doing with those? They were like chew toys. Doesn't Mackenzie have a chew toy? No. Mine was Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Two and a half. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but you chewed your action figures. Yes. Okay. I was a kid. I was a baby. You're not a baby. 85? Well, 86? Maybe series 87? one and on. I don't know. 86? 87? Two years old is not a baby? Uh, they must have did shit different in New York. <laughs> I, I had a pacifier down here. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have... An iron cheek. I don't think anybody. <laughs> well, let's, let's let's talk about these five right here. These are the original five. Now, there's series one. I consider these series one. That's the thing with these LJNs. It was the wild, wild west back then because this ain't gonna you, work. Yeah, you can't stand them up. They're not gonna stand, brother. I would have told you that. But you know how they would stand. It's a last man standing match in Big John Stud. This one will stand on the Whoa. side of the road. Oop, it's a draw. Maybe. All right. <laughs> the way that they would stand is if they had the LJN. Stand, display stand that only these five came with are very, very, very rare. As a kid, I never had, I never knew it existed. There is somebody who makes replicas. I do have a replica stand. Uh, even as an adult collector, I didn't know about this until recently. So this is a yeah. replica <laughs> of the stand. This is what, similar to yeah. this, came in the package. And you would just slide the figure, you know, slide their, their feet in these little spots. And the figure would stand up. It was perfect. Face the hard cam, brother. Come on. Was Whoop, it? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time? So I have these replicas for my original five. Yeah. But I do not have these. Um, yeah. So even, the as an, even it well into my adult collecting, I did not know these original five came in stands until you told me maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Were they all gray like that? All gray. So this guy, this new guy it's who like makes them. like a 3D them, printer. And yeah. He, like these are just copies. Now he makes them all different colors, but the original were gray. So they're very, very expensive to get. So I can't justify it's buying them. It's hard to even find a Google image of them in on card with that, like in the packaging. So right? how, how much is that? So this was like, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 bucks. But to buy this, like probably over a hundred bucks to get one of these. And mint on card, you're oh talking. Oh my god! Forget about it. If you can find it, right? Right. right. And yeah. another funny anecdote that I remember is John Cohn, referee John Cohn. Yeah, yeah. He he grew up a big figure collector, still is. He told us he remembers like the day LJNs like came out and got them in the store and said they. He does not recall them having the stands. And then I had to find a picture with them with the stands. So it had to be very limited, or like a quick change went on. You know what I mean? So yeah. another thing about LJNs and like especially. Um, you know, these characters, like this Iron Cheek, there's so many quote unquote variants of like color. If you if you had ten Iron Cheeks, right, I guarantee that five of them would have some sort of difference to them because they were made in different factories. And I don't count that as true variants. So we're gonna talk about that a lot on the pod today. Like what is a true variant and what is not. You guys should come up with some sort of deal with Sheiky Baby and have like a a podcast exclusive version where he has a voice box in the back. Yeah. And you can get all his catchphrases. You can say, ho, 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 you know it, Joe Brody. I was going to say, I don't know which ones would be uh, airable. So, uh, <laughs> well, be so not, not PG. Yeah. That'd be great. So but let's talk about the five. First, we, let's, let's talk our Iron Sheik. Let's start with the Sheik. Uh, the year these came out is? 1985. 1985. Series okay. one. So, I mean, he's got the... The, the the patented boots with the little the little point. What are those called? The little point. The Xavier Woods. <laughs> yeah, they're Xavier Woods the Xavier, boots today. Xavier Woods boots. The Shiki babies. Uh, the Shiki babies. Now, like I said, there's different like quote unquote variants where like this orange is yellowish. Yeah, it's, I've seen a more yellow. Version, I don't yeah. I don't count that as a true variant. There's some psychos out there who do. Now to get these figures mint on card on like nice cards is almost impossible because they weigh they weigh so much and the cards are so brittle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to find one nice and minty. And uh, they, would, they would crack the bubbles and stuff. Right, as well, the bubbles get all yellowed. Weight. 
So what would it be? I mean, top value of an iron sheik, what do you think? I, I Honestly, I'm so out of the market that I only deal with loose mint stuff. And I'd say oh, well over 300 bucks. But yeah. Like, so, but that's just my starting guess. So these these five are five You can of get the, mo- the actual iron sheik to your house for that's like, a, oh, yeah. That's a Tommy Dreamer quote about he, his most sought after thing is a rhythm and blues Greg Valentine. Oh, we talked about it earlier spent before you thousands got and thousands of dollars on yeah. it. He goes, you could have Greg Valentine come to your house and do whatever you want him to do for, the, for way less than that. Than what you paid for this little uh, three and a half inch piece of plastic. Um, what I do love about this is like, you know, he could do a nice elbow drop or something like that. There's always in some weird poses. Sometimes it works for your face big fed sometimes it doesn't so not the best for a camel clutch but uh it's decent you how do you have a lot of uh imagination to play with these absolutely and th- that's what i was thinking about on these stands i know the reason they quit making those because they realize kids don't really care about that anyway it's an added expense like, let's have more pro- like i said my, my brother and his friends were smashing these on pavement yeah so they, they're not know. displaying them yeah so no. like later on jack specifics made uh stands for the bone crush i remember Azure that days. yeah who display like unless you had six figures it's okay but you, people have like hundreds you can't yeah, display yeah. them all like yeah. that i used to use them as steel chairs those those the, <laughs> what? i would use them as like logos in the background for interviews yeah. and stuff yeah. But yeah, interview so, sex. I guess next up is Jimmy Superfly Snooker Brada. Now, if you notice on the back, they all have some sort of like either number or letter. It's like I think it's from different factories. We're, we never really got some concrete I got a three evidence. Three and Big John Studs, but I saw your Hogan ass four. earlier, and it had something, and and Kurtz does not. Well, speaking of Hogan ass, sorry, Brian. I have another Hogan with me. Yeah, uh, why, why brought, did you pack another? I Hogan? brought some just in case. First of all. These these titles, Hogan came with the world title. Now look at the discoloration of yours over the years, baby. Yours has turned like green. Mine is the pure gold. But that's, I think you need to update your Hogan. What do you think, Conrad? Wait, I that's mean, that's what you're saying about? Yeah, look at that. It's the green. The belt is different. But like, but the belt I'm was called gonna... the Big Green. <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, no, it's really I'm just never because, gonna it, find. It's just, it just because of age. Like for instance, I have yeah. a Tiger Mask Japan figure that is a gold mask that has turned green. So it's yeah. just the paint and the, paint the, the age. Poorly. Well, look. Okay, for instance, here are two Hogans, right? On the back, this just says 1984 LJN. The back, mine has a number three. See, they're. They're made in so many different factories. Yeah, it's, weird. it's crazy. And if you look at the Hogan's, like the yellows are a little different. Like that's it was just made in a different time, the wild, wild west. You can't count stuff like this as variants because it'll never end. So there's no true variance in series one in the story. Not in my opinion. I don't think so. I mean I agree. And this belt, you need to update your belt, baby. I'm okay. Conrad, what do you think? I your think belt's got guy. Little, your, your belt's better than it's got a vintage vibe to it. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Um now all these figures also came with rolled up posters, which was really, really cool. Um as you the, can see here on our set. On the set here. Now a lot of the posters in the beginning were just a nice uh what's it called? Like a caricature? Is that what it's called? A right, dra- right. A drawing. Yeah, like a drawing. drawing. And then later on it was a <laughs> You like when we use big words, right? I do. Yeah. And then later on, it was changed to an actual image of the superstar. I prefer the drawing. I prefer the drawing, oh, me too. too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a TTD LJN print that we have for sale today. Conrad, you're actually in the crowd. Brian and I are in the ring. I like it. We'll send yeah, you one for free. You won't have to buy it. I'll have to show you one. Yeah. And, uh, and technically, so you don't get any royalties, it's not really you in the crowd, it's somebody who looks like you. No, I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've actually ripped this off. I, I made this the cover of my uh, StarCast 3 with Sam Hulk on the front. Oh. So yeah, I have ripped this off many, many times. It, it just has that iconic feel, and if you're Absolutely. a true wrestling fan, you recognize you it. Like, yeah, exactly. Now, back to the playing and collecting days, I don't remember ever having these as a kid. Like ever, like I must have like. I don't just, remember ever seeing it. I, really? like, I must have let a figure breathe and just threw out the poster. So there's no way you were keeping the stand if you're throwing out the poster. You're no way. Out the yeah, but you see the stand in the package. Now you the poster's about, like under this little piece of cardboard that maybe you might have missed. These posters are so valuable because people did not keep them, and they're so fragile and they're so brittle. So Hawkins was with me when we were in Canada, and some guy, like I had heard, he said, "Okay, I'm going to start an LJN uh, poster collection." And then I, I quit before I even f- finished it, and then some guy had the majority of them, and I just it was broke like down. it was like fate. It was he like had them in the books that I brought. He today, so. was a collector. It was pretty cool. So he was a poster collector. Of, that was like his thing, like the way you collect belts. Yeah, and he would go and get them signed, and then he had all his he 
accumulated so many he was selling his duplicates in his shop or whatever and he was telling us all this it was pretty cool man and i think he ripped me off a little bit but it was worth it because they get them all well not all but the majority of them in one shot i still don't have all the posters i'm missing a couple wow. did you ever collect gi joe i never was into gi joe what about you any gi uh like i played with it when i was like real small so you remember on the back they had the cards the cut out yeah which this, so like, that's ha- the wrestling that. version yeah yeah, yeah. But, but these had the bio cards these had well. both actually yeah well i just know that I didn't keep those, but then I went to a buddy's house and he had all of them for all the right. Joe's. And I was like, damn. <laughs> the Joe's doing that. We're a little like more incentive to collect because it was like a file. Yeah. Like on the guy. That's yeah, kind of like, cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, like this Hogan, I think everybody knows this Hogan. You close your eyes and you think LJN. It's an iconic. It's an iconic. Pro Between this and the Macho figure. Man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I would say with the title. Now, they later turned this title into the tag team title by just painting it brown. It's mm-hmm. the same exact mold, same everything. Uh, as a belt guy, you'd probably be mad about that. I would be. But it's just does that, that even look paint. like the belt, the world title at the a time? A little bit. It yeah. does? At, at that it period. Was, it was called the Big Green, but it looked similar to that. And that's the belt that uh, Sheiky Baby lost yeah. to create Hulkamania January 24th, 1984. When he was offered to break his leg. What I love about this that Hogan <laughs> is that this Hogan is doing the proper leg drop, has the knee slightly bent, so it can take care of his opponent, righty or lefty. Before we started rolling, like Sheik and Snooker, who aren't the tallest of the five, right? they're straight-legged, whereas all the, the larger men here are crunched down. I believe that's to scale it down. I know. It's but it looks of, like they're it's kind of unfortunate. taking a dump. If we're <laughs> Not on a squatty body. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're in a proper wrestling stance. If we had a bad news Brown figure, we could put it under Andre. Well, we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about bad news. He was unreleased. He's one of the unreleased guys later. Uh, so, but yeah, this Hogan. I mean, if, I had so many of these Hogans. I still have from my childhood so many of these Hogans. If someone were to say you need to get, I, I can only get one LJ, and I would recommend you got to get this Hogan and get one in mint condition with a nice gold belt and not all faded like yours, Brian. Well. One LJ and my ever, actual and the Hogan? actual Hogan is pretty spot on beautiful and you failed it. Brian, do you agree with me? If you can only have one LJN, it would be this Hogan or Macho. Mm. Macho is Mean Gene, baby. Or Heenan or something. Mean Gene. Yeah, or Heenan. Heenan. Oh, dude, Heenan with the squiggly. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> You got to get squiggly that's a, Heenan. That's a precursor, folks. Maybe we should move on. Let's All right. Let's, let's move on to... Do you have uh, any other secret little anecdotes you want to get into? Well, here? okay. let's. I do, but let's go to Big John Stud right now. Big John Stud looking big, looking like a stud. He uh, looks bigger than Andre here. He's way more Jack, too. I mean, Andre looks like a... Like they a, didn't do like Andre a, any favors in his like build. Like a sk- skinny, fat stoner. This <laughs> yeah, dude yeah. looks like a monster. Yeah. Now, this Andre, um, like you said, I never... Honestly, Brian, I never picked up on the bent knees until right now 30 plus years later <laughs> Not i'm realizing, realizing that. you know what he is taking a shit. he's got a number two on his <laughs> <trunk>. <laughs> there you go mystery sub well he's doing a three what's that <laughs> <laughs> that's what dave silva does <laughs> that's what you poo a peep at yeah. the- <laughs> <laughs> poo a peep at the- <laughs> oh, i always uh. poop at the same time. Don't we all? <laughs> I don't know what to know uh, what she had to do to get a number four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> some, some, some Tony Atlas. Oh, my Maybe, God. Yeah. Uh, now, look at this Andre the Giant. Now, to me, growing up, I remember short hair Andre, but this was obviously based before 1985, so it has the longer hair. Um, now, these figures, how these were made first were made of resin, and then, you know, they were hand painted, you know, passed around as samples. The Michael Jordan is here. Oh man, you're a sicko. With an unpainted resin wow. series one Andre the Giant I'm prototype. Feel on that. That's resin, wow. baby. By comparison. There you go. Now there if you stood them up next to each other, it's slightly taller than the uh the rubber. Like slightly. Oh yeah. yeah. Like yeah. this one bit. could dunk on him. So it kind of looks like a like a chocolate Easter Bunny candy. <laughs> it does. But, it, does. but it is. Back like to this what, has the wrapper. Back to what Conrad said, though. Like, this is the early stages. Like, so his body, they never were trying to make him jacked. No. <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess Andre really wasn't jacked, but he, I feel like he Neither looked. Neither was stud, though. He looked a little more menacing than this. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, if anybody wants to buy that prototype, hit oh me my up. God. Oh, my God. It is for sale. This is a it's fake, for sale. This is a, fi- a shill now. What? Well, I feel, I'm saying, I feel it, dirty. It, it, that was a nice segment. That was a nice segment, and I feel I feel dirty about it. For sale. Um, hypothetically, hypothetically, four figures. Oh yeah, four figures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now God, we're, we're really exposing to Conrad how we didn't graduate college. I, I didn't either. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, we're, yeah. we're in your goddamn mansion. Did you ever hear about a WrestleMania 20 story, Conrad? No. We've told it many times on the pod, but I think we could tell it. 
Well, how you, you want me to explain this? Well, let's talk. I love when you okay, so put we were both, on blast. Both at NASA Community College in the summer school. Okay. <laughs> he had failed a class, but I was taking sex ed as like a bonus class. And I got an A, by the way. Okay. Wink, this, this wink. Was before Bluetooth, so he needed some help. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, let me tell this story because you're not going to get this right. I'll tell my version. The, I, the people have heard this version, we but were, let's let Conrad in. Sure, I'm sure, and, the, I'm sure there's some there. new viewers. And, and not, not Jamie Silva. No, there's some Dave new. Dave Silva. There's some the new, real uh, Silva. There's some new We have a Silva on, of our YouTube. own, and he, and he mooches off us, and he sucks, <laughs> and, he, and he doesn't buy any of our merch. Uh-oh. And you know what? He cried that we didn't put him in the crowd for the LJM poster. This is all true. Um, it must be something about Moochin and Silva's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here we are on Christmas oh, morning, and he's at my house. He's not with his <laughs> family. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so we're both having stellar college careers. Uh, we had just met at wrestling school the spring prior, so now it's the summer. I'm taking a summer class because I failed math like four times in college, and I was trying to ease by, but I failed this one too, by the way. Uh, so... We had just met at wrestling school. WrestleMania 20 had just happened in the garden. We both went. It was very sentimental for us. You know, it was a big moment. WrestleMania 20 at the time it was really cool. And Jackson made a set, a Toys R Us exclusive, six figures to depict WrestleMania 20. Okay, they just dropped. I get a call from my figure collecting buddy in the morning on my way to class. He's like, "Hey man, I just found a case of them. I bought my six. The other six are there. Like so, there's so two a case, sets. right? The case there's has twelve two figures." Sets. He goes, I got six. I put the other six in, you know, the old school Toys R Us up yeah. top. He goes, I put them up top for you. Blah, blah, blah. Go get them. So I'm on my way to class. I know he's on his way to class, too. I just met this guy. We're hitting it off. They put us together as a tag team, trying to make things work. We, you know, we both connected over wrestling figures. And To be fair, I don't think we teamed yet officially. We knew it was in the works. Okay. So I call him on the way to class. I say, hey, man, uh, my buddy just found that set. I said, there's... Obviously, you know, it's just one set now, but here's what we'll do. Let's split them three a piece and we'll, we, you know, we'll both try to get the other three that we need, you know, another time. But like, at least it's a start. Sure. Goes, oh, cool, man. Thanks. Thanks for thinking of me. Cool. Great. Great idea. Blah, blah. Hang up. We go to class. Get out like before lunchtime, I want to say. Sure. We race over there, two separate cars. We go in, you know, that, that toy, going down the toy aisle feeling, open up the rafter thing, gone. Someone took them. So I'm like... <laughs> Damn, okay. You know, we tried. I guess someone was smarter than us, whatever, got him in the hour and a half that we missed, whatever. It sucked. He goes, missed out. And he's going, oh, shucks, man, that sucks. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll see you, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why. <laughs> At least two years later, he just <laughs> drunkenly, randomly admits to me. That day, I call him. He hangs up the phone. Dad, can you go to Toys R Us? There's a whole set of wrestling figures in the rafters I need you to get for me. <laughs> and that's why I'm the Michael Jordan. And you're the Sky Pippin. By any means necessary. How insane is that? This he is, didn't it, even know they were there. It's, it's so Your insane. Your friend hit him. I know. <laughs> so insane on so many levels. The fact that he did it. The fact that he came and pretended with me that he didn't know they That's were there. That's the worst part of okay. the whole story. That he drunkenly tells me like two years later for no reason. Wild. I don't regret it. <laughs> So that's how our relationship started. Now we're in our mid-30s and have a podcast about wrestling toys. Wow. All yeah. right. Well, before we end Series 1, I have a little, uh, little note ski here, a little piece of uh Do you news. steal these from Kurt? I mean, Brian <laughs> as well? This is uh, GF News. This is from, uh, I believe it's 1984. Brand new for Christmas from LJN Toys. Or maybe it's 95, 85, sorry. The official World Wrestling Federation Wrestling Superstars. So I don't know if this is a fax or what, what? this is. What is this? Okay. Who no. steal this? First of all, oh, by the way, I stutter a lot when I read. He, and when can't, I, he can't read. I can't read. So this is so, a bad take idea. Take a shot. Yeah, yeah take a shot. Take I'm a shot. in the loop. Yeah. Okay. The most Literally fa- can't I'll, read. I'll do very Scary. slowly. <laughs> the most famous names in the world of wrestling as super large figures, good and evil characters, realistically styled after, pay attention to this, folks, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Jimmy Superfly Snooker, The Iron Sheik, Sergeant Slaughter... <sighs> and Big John Stud, as seen by millions on TV nationwide, about eight dollars. Now, out of all those names, first off, these were never eight dollars, right? Even back in the day, they were. No, they might have been oh. in like eighty-five. What do you think they were originally? No, there's ads. They were yeah, like pretty still, damn expensive. No, but those were in those magazine ads. The, the mail order ones, like sixteen ninety nine. They were always jacking it up. But still in the eighties, yeah, it's they're crazy. jacking it up. Anyway, I mean, G.I. Joe's <laughs> were like three dollars. 
Exactly. Yeah. In, in comparison. You guys, we're missing the point here. Okay. Out of all those I know, names sir. I just named, who is not here? I'm well, stable. Conrad's Sergeant a wrestling Slaughter. historian. What where what happened to Sergeant Slaughter in the middle? He was on G.I. Joe, baby. He took that deal, right? And, yeah. And powdered, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So so they had the option to do it at Hasbro then. What if I were to tell you that somebody at this table has the Sergeant Slaughter prototype? Well, you outed me. <laughs> <laughs> It's right. It's, it. it's not me. It, no. Is it here? Do we have it? Robert Remus. It's right oh here. Oh my gosh! Unpainted resin Sergeant Slaughter can prototype. You, can you take the condom off and let it breathe? <laughs> let me take it out. I of can't, this little honestly, bag. I can't believe you traveled here with that. It gets better. <laughs> First of all, I awkward. traveled with over thirty thousand dollars of wrestling figures. I had my collection which i think is like six seven grand and i was super uncomfortable and it was 69 lgns that weighed a zillion pounds and i got stopped at tsa because she's like what the hell you got a bunch of action figures in here I, I here he is sergeant slaughter if you want to touch him you can touch him uh, there's no hat yeah. there's wow. a hat i got it oh. is this resin as well resin as well color? like Dondre. yep that's a resin prototype andre the giant Dude, obtained from awesome. an ljn uh employee i have the coa certificate of authenticity i'm not going to read it now because i'll stutter through it yeah, there's here, no point in that. Here is his hat. Oh, my what? <laughs> Jesus, Conrad. <laughs> oh, man, that Luckily, great. he's resin. Uh, uh, there is the hat. Is resin a tough material? It, it go, could be. We're going to find out today. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, if we just dropped it like this. You Dude, think the that hat is. is the best part. And, no, the best part are the sunglasses, the ill-fitting sunglasses. Now, why are they so big? They barely I, stand his head. I know, I don't. Actually, it's, it's Conrad might know. There's another line of figures that was made by LJN around this time where these sunglasses came from. It's commonplace in the toy world where they will uh, recycle accessories. These glasses came with Michael Jackson. Oh, my they God. They made yeah. Michael Jackson figurine L LJN, Barbie dolls. LJN dolls, yeah. And these were the glasses to be recycled um, to put on the Sergeant Slaughter. So there are a couple of these in did existence. Did that come with that, or did you get a Michael Jackson to Nope, this all came it. together. Okay. Now... Did they get that from Michael Jackson? He said he didn't. The COA says he didn't. That these are all original parts. Okay, but he could have got it from Michael. He could have got it from Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, but this is it. Um, pretty cool pose. Pretty cool pose. Now there, someone does have the the bendy version out there, so it's out there. And then someone also has a, someone else also has a painted version out there. But I do think the painted one might not be real. I think someone might have painted it themselves. I have no. Uh, a, confirmation a, on what that. What a risky. I don't know if that's true. Dumb, I don't know if that's true. Dumb thing the, the to do. The chin on slaughter is oh, legit. Well, I mean, it's got. Um, he's got right? the he's got the whistle hanging. Um, the tent. It's just a great figure, and really, he's supposed to be in this line. He would have been the best one of this series. I definitely think so uh, as don't well. You? Well, he would have been most colorful. I feel like, right? I mean, first of all, he has. Accessories. That too. Yeah. So, so that's a big yeah. deal, and it looks like he can stand up on his own. Well, this is the resin one, but. Well, you're, you're from the Hasbro era where Skinner and Undertaker have their hats stuck on, so right there. I didn't like those figures. What about smoking guns? <laughs> they have their hats. Smoking guns. Yeah. Come on, what are we talking about? Hey, <laughs> did you see that they gave Andre love handles? That's rough. Dude, yeah, be sad. Look, look at what they did to Big John Studd. Yeah. I mean, he looks like a badass and a half. This dude has love handles. Well, Andre was squashing him on a regular basis, so at least he's got something to hang And you know on. what? The, the legs on Studd look like the Remco legs. Like yes. where everybody was a bodybuilder. Yeah. Like, come on. Big John stuff was pretty jacked up. I though. needed him to have yeah, like the little duffel bag full of cash. Yes, as an a good accessory. That would have been cool. I just, I just, just bought that. that. <laughs> not oh, the real not one. Not the real one, but the one from a merch stand yeah. or a catalog. Um, but series one, I get. It's like I said. There's no like clear cut checklist on this. So some people uh, also consider other figures as series one. So we'll go get those now. Bring them out. Uh, but these are the original five plus slaughter, and what a great way to kick off the LJN line. Which one do you think, Conrad, is your is your favorite? If you could only, if it's 1985 and it's Christmas morning, Santa Claus could bring you one. Oh man! Oh well, if it's 1985, I would have picked Hogan yeah, because I was a little yeah. Hulkamaniac. Yeah, exactly. But now, with the benefit of hindsight, I would have picked the Andre one. Okay, I, I mean, I just think I the gotta, Andre. With I the gotta agree. Is cool. yeah. yeah, I gotta agree. Um, I'm gonna pick the Hogan because you're a Hulkamaniac right now. That, what do you mean? You're, I, I mean, I got the Hogan dead. <laughs> well, yes. No, I'm a Hulk maniac. I'm Hulk, just saying, if you're that, saying that at home. That don't figure, be alarmed. That I'm better than not, Hogan. Yeah, I don't know what Brother? you did. You look like a hot dog right now. I don't know what, don't know what you did before I got here. But. Anyway, guys. All right, should we get to the next batch of guys? 
See, you have to be on top of this. He doesn't know how to wrap segments up. He'll just keep... <laughs> we'll be back after yeah. these words. Yeah. Wrestlingfigures.com, your WWE figure headquarters. Ringside exclusives featuring Undertaker as Kane, Hardy Boys, and Andrade. Hot new WWE figures including The Man, Becky Lynch, Aleister Black, Goldberg, Kofi Kingston, Natalia, and NXT superstars Matt Riddle and Keith Lee. Huge authentic scale ring and elimination chambers. Plus, tons of action figure accessories. Shop now at WrestlingFigures.com. All right. So some people consider these also part of Series 1. Um, series 1B. Series 1B. They didn't ship originally all together. So right. you gotta you got to separate. So we talk about um, the iconic guys. Well, there goes JYD and Nikolai. Uh, th- these don't really stand up, Brian. Uh, but I mean, I'm going to try. You don't every- have the stands, I'm remember? Try- there were no stands anymore. I'm going to try every time. But let's talk about there is nobody more iconic than Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper, especially during this time period, correct? Might be my favorite L Jam if, if, if we have to. How about really this? get down to it. I've never seen it with the uh, kilt. Right? I know. Well, let, we, we're going to talk about variants in a second. <laughs> but let's just talk about the importance of, of Piper, you know, main event of WrestleMania 1. Uh, someone, top, top heel. Someone I definitely didn't appreciate as a little kid because obviously I I'm a whole maniac. Are, are you in that boat? What, you didn't appreciate him as a kid? Like when I was a kid, Ryan Piper was just a commentator guy who sometimes wrestled. So right. I was like, but then you go back, you know, you, you love the business and you get into the history of it and you realize what, how important he was and how good he was. And Yeah, I definitely realized how important he was. But I was probably a teenager when that happened. I just thought he was the brawler who talked weird. <laughs> <laughs> like his promos were so off the wall. Yeah, yeah. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Um, potentially. Now, what's cool about this figure is it has the removable kilt. So he has ring gear on underneath, unlike the Hasbro, where the kilt is on permanently mm-hmm. and the shirt. That's the one I remember more. Right. So this one is cool. He's doing like a weird like lefty bicep thing. But well, we he's talk got, about... He's going for a strike. Now, we talk about... Really, quote, he's going to throw a really awkward punch. Yes. Like a, like a Zack Ryder punch. Should we take the, uh, the kilt off to show everybody? <laughs> sure. He's got the red trunks underneath. Uh, I like that the belt kind of stays on, even though it should kind of come off, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, anything on the butt here? I can't quite see. The, did he ever have a figure that had the, uh, the Panther so, shirt? So listen to this. So the prototype uh, that is out there, uh, you know, in the ads and stuff like that, has the Panther. Now, his LJN poster, like one of these posters, they made two. The first one has the Panther, then it's corrected to Hot Rod. So there are two. There's a variant of his poster. Interesting. But it was only released with the hot rod. Does anyone know the significance of that Panther shirt? I do not. But I know that uh, my dad was a Piper fan when I was a kid. So when I was a little boy, my dad's nickname for me was Hot Rod. Mm, that's cool. So dad was a big uh, Piper fan. And that's when I realized he had <laughs> a taste in wrestling. Because <laughs> I was a Hulkamaniac. Really. Well, of Man. course. Now, we talk about the quote-unquote variants. And Piper has a couple. Now, do I count these? Do you count these? Let's see if Conrad thinks these count as two variants. So there's one main difference. Let's see if, if Conrad even sees right off the bat any difference between the Pipers here. Uh, yeah, they're definitely different. Well, what's different, Conrad? Um, his, his, his head is different. Well, the boots, Conrad. I should have just told you. I gave you a layout. Well, di- his head looks different. I'm, I'm colorblind, so I can, yeah. But the, the faces are definitely different. I think. Let me see, Brian. It has a, like this, this head's like smaller the, than this one, and the smile's a little different. I think. That, I I think. You know, well, yeah, now that I'm looking boots, at it, I'm colorblind. <laughs> Conrad's colorblind. This whole thing is shot. Um, <laughs> so, Brian, put the the piper next I'm, to. I'm differently able, on, guys. so it's it's more accurate. So the boots. This one has maroon boots, which are more accurate. And Brian's have the uh, right. the red, but the I like how they both have the RP. I, I just saw that when you twisted him. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I wish they would have done that in a different color. I wish you know it was white. So, right, make it pop a little bit. That would have been cool. Now there's also something a little different. Brian, can you when you put them next to each other, Brian? Do you notice anything different? Um, mine is a little bit of brighter hair. Look, see, that's what I'm saying. When you put various figures. Together, uh, the hot rod placement on the shirt is different, oh, yeah, right? Sure, so yeah. th- these I don't count as true variants. No, I would agree. That's not. It's right. just like different Stakes factories and, yeah. making different things. But something that is interesting is another. We have another Piper right here, red boots. Look at this different kilt. Look at the stitching on the top of the kilt. 
on all the kilts. Mm, that's really reaching too, man. What do you mean that's really reaching? It's the same material. Boy, I, I don't think I'm for this figure. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I would never notice this. <laughs> Broski. Don't get mine. You're overthinking, your Jordan. Crap. That's the same thing. Am I messing this up here? Perhaps. I, I think that's your red boot version. This is my red boot version. <laughs> So, you, so maybe you, this is you're the so one. deep into variants that they're so meaningless you can't even decipher them. There is How one with that? a different kilt. Maybe this isn't the different kilt though. He ruined the shoot, guys. <laughs> this is it. To well, me, it looks different. We'll save the day when we get can that you old send your jet? Bobby can you send Heenan. your jet to take me home? I'm out of here. I don't have a jet. <laughs> I live in Huntsville, Alabama, man. Come on. What a lovely town, by the way. See, I'm I'm so confused with these variants. What what the hell? Okay, you messed we up. Should, we should, we should move, on. move along. Yeah, we should move on. Well, let's just not. Let's agree that there's no variant for Roddy Piper. Even I thought there was brown boots. No, it's maroon. It's just maroon? Yeah. Oh, so I'm glad I don't even have it then. Yeah. Because that's no, that's not worth it. All right. Well, we'll have to clean that up in post. No, anyway. no. Let's let's expose Broski for right. being a sham. Um, uh, this guy I know for sure has some variants that you can talk about. Okay. JYD, Junkyard Dog. Another accessory, which is nice. Removable dog collar very, i love that very yeah. hard to remove that dog collar I, i've never so, seen it with the dog collar. so much that right i'm now. not gonna take it off. i think yeah. because once you took it off you couldn't get it back on <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's skin tight yeah so i this is my jyd i chose to get the one with the silver chain because i think that makes the most sense no it looks awesome okay well look at these strange black chain and red chain jyd which, oh those suck it, this not is not very accurate not accurate but people do uh I guess obsess over them because like it is like you you can find these you know what I mean right. so it, there's more the silver than, one's more rare I think the silver is the most common I think this I think the red is the most rare red is the most rare okay what what uh number does it have on your JYD butt my JYD has JYD has a one on it okay butt. mine all have one on the butt as well so but even look at the red of the tights a little different like that for count. sure like right. at least the one in your left hand is and a the one in your right hand stepped in poop. As well, it's just a little scuff on the boot. So, I mean, I, I think we kind of grazed over that in our uh, Series 1. These things were so easy to get beat up 100%. and lose paint loss and pretty crazy. So He's not fat enough. No? No, he like. should have been fatter. He's got a but, little love handle here. But this is a wrestler who was nicknamed the junk food dog on the Observer. <laughs> so you would think we could have made him a little fatter. In the 85, though, he was still svelte, we'll call it. I just love that it's like a real chain. Even though it's like plastic, it still looks like a chain. Please, an accessory. <laughs> Let's move on to Nikolai Volkov. Yeah, uh, Bruce Pritchard says that uh, when he would sing the national anthem, somewhere in there he would slip in, eat my crotch. Really? Yeah. That's Just that's blah, 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 eat my, my crotch. crotch. I can yeah. see that. That's a yeah. funny rib for the boys. To and I didn't know him. that his hat came off, but. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't know that this figure existed until right now. <laughs> Come uh, on. All of my friends had Andre and JYD and Hogan and Piper and Hillbilly Jim. So those are all commons, but so this one, he really. Right. But common. I think my friends just had good taste or whatever, and they just wanted the good wrestlers. And and in the uh, the I well, was such a wrestling fan, I wanted everybody. Oh, you got you know? For your fig yeah, fed, you yeah. need everybody. Well, you know? especially in 85, you wanted a Russian, so you're I mean, There you go, that hero, too. Yeah, very right. 80s, timely. Cold War, baby. Yeah, exactly. You, th you think about it like that, it's, it's surprising that Nikolai Volkov didn't get a run for the you know, as a champ, you know, like the heel champ for a little bit. They didn't do heel champs back then. That's though. true. That's true. That's Baby true. face territory, yeah. brother. Hogan had to run through him. Uh, well, but another guy, an accessory, pretty cool. I like the hat. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, there, there are, there are better some, than nothing. There are some differences if you have if you have ten Volkovs lined up. Some of the fonts going to be a little different, but that yeah, doesn't count as bad, guys. We can't do that. How about Hillbilly Jim, who is still currently? Oh, that giving, hat comes off too. Still giving his Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> he is as we talk about his. LGN here. You know what's crazy is I was talking to Arn Anderson about these, you know, because obviously 85 is the first year that Crockett really starts to take off, and he's there for all of that year. And he says that in the business, uh, the talk was that Sheik got 80 grand a quarter for royalties. Oh, my just God. From that's, the LJN that's a Hillbilly figure. Jim thing, which he mentioned in his Hall of Fame speech, speech that never ended. Yeah. That number – Throughout the years and through the boys, you know, the you know, wrestling telephone. It's a fishing story. Yeah, yeah. you don't know bigger, what bigger, the bigger. real one was, what the real story is, but it was a game changing uh, amount of money, you know, revenue source for guys. And 
to this day, pretty much. That's something we didn't. Which really... lot, it's kind of crazy that WCW or NWA didn't have figures for another five years. Yeah, I mean the the business, but even Vince McMahon himself didn't see the value in these. You go back and you watch that Toys That Made Us, and you yeah. hear that for the rights to do it, it was ten grand was the offer, and right. it's like. My goodness! I mean, yeah. the rights to do it was ten grand, and Shiki Baby's getting eighty grand a quarter. Holy! That's cow. why Vince is my like dream get guest on our show because I would love to just pick his brain on like what kind of foresight he had on like merchandise right. and what he was thinking. But ten grand makes me think it was just a happy accident. Yes, and I agree. And somebody yeah. else saw how popular it was, sure. then he realized, oh, there's an opportunity yeah, here. Totally. And he stood out because, like we talk about, they they weren't the same size as GI Joe or any of those action figures that kids were used to. These were bigger. They were durable. You could actually fight with them. They weren't going to break. Like how many Hasbro's did you have that broke when you're doing movies? When I would, when I would get mad at my brother, we get an argument. I would take his GI Joes and I twist them at the waist until they snapped, and then just be like, <laughs> yeah, that's like my move. Yeah. I'll text fans. I'll see if I can get him on the Thank, show. I appreciate you. that. I appreciate yeah. Thank you. Put in a good Tell me said hi as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, don't go mess with the country boy. And let's. Uh, let's this go to, let's this let, is a badass figure. It's a great figure. It's definitely iconic. It's 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 sad because I haven't been around these figures for so long, and they're so they're so common that I don't really appreciate them because they're the common ones. But when you look at them and you look at the tail. They are. They're this is the things. best one so far. I mean, I, I, I as far as the yeah, the, yeah, the look and the what went into it. This yeah. is very Sergeant Slaughter like. Yes, because he's got the hat and there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of color. I think the problem is it depicts a guy whose run was like six months as Hogan, got, Hogan's buddy, and you know that's it. And then he became the uh, Coliseum video guy. Yeah, exactly. And the Godwin's manager. And what, <laughs> a, what a gig! <laughs> All right. All right, so this is technically Series 2. So you got a decent number of guys already for your Fig Fed. You need the Fig Fed to grow. You need to grow. You need competition, you, need, you, need, competition, you, need, to, you, you know? can book your storylines, yeah. build to your you know mania. I mean, there's not. if you're 1985, I guess, what are you doing? Are you building just to super shows? MSG, <laughs> baby. <Yeah. laughs> um, so this is our first, not repaint or re-release, but a, the same character, different mold. Can you get so I'll start that? with Andre same, the Giant. Same mold. I'd say same. Yeah, same I, kind of pose. But the, smile, the, the smile is the big difference there. And the hair or the obviously. short the hair. The hair and the, the hair. smile. My goodness. It's like to me, this is what this is the Andre I used in my fig fed because it's the one that's the most uh, accurate to the time. I had the long hair one that I got from a garage uh, show. I think long hair is better. But at this I time, didn't realize it, until. Did you watch the HBO doc on Andre? Yeah. Which I thought was excellent. Uh, we, we, like, I mean, I guess I realized, but. Heyday Andre is long hair Andre. You know, yeah. we didn't really grow up on yeah. you know the true the WrestleMania three Andre is on the way down. It's Andre. like I mean, right. even before that. Tail end. Right, technically, yeah. yeah. So that Andre is super cool. Um it's even cooler when you have oh, man. the yeah. resin Easter prototype. Is that, is the that Easter a little, bunny. A little taller? Uh I wish I was a little bit taller. Same thing. Uh, just a tiny bit. Man, very slightly. Yeah, tiny bit. Uh that's you know, it's a great figure to to me, this is the better uh andre um because this is like the time th when this figure was released he had short hair of course but when the other figure i was appreciate released, the effort to update sure you know but when the other figure was released it was already outdated he already had short hair wrestlemania one time he has short hair yeah you're right so this is more uh timely um same kind of gear though so it makes sense you know he got just got a haircut, That's you know but i but it also i think it goes to show how top guy andre was that they made the effort to Quick. do that and yeah, quick. you know, if that was Mr. Beefcake here, you know, brother Brudai changing his hair, you'd be stuck with this one forever. You know, um, so you get the dream team here. Um, now, Brutus, there's, this is another one like quote unquote variants. If you buy a bunch of Brutuses, there's different ones with like different size little dots or the amount of dots that are in the gear. Do, do that you, doesn't count as variants. Do you want to get your in? about what? Who is this guy? Brutus the f***ing barber beefcake. <laughs> he's, he's the worst. I don't want to touch that figure. <laughs> I, I, I can't uh, believe it's even on the table. Yeah, I really want to f try what the kids did on the playground back in the day. Just the and leg just double leg yeah. flip all the way. The, uh, this Greg the Hammer Valentine, though, dude, the, the swinging pose, like he's twisting for the punch. Right. This is the most action of any of the figures we've seen so far. Like that punch looks like it's coming right it's at coming you. It's coming right at you. I mean, this is more personality in the figure than he showed in his entire career. I agree. Now, uh, is, that, I, is that belly button version or no belly which button Which I version? didn't even learn about to this week. Can I say uh, belly, button, belly, belly button. Okay, apparently this week, which is, this is one of the things I love about our podcast, we've built this community and people, and like people reach out to it with all these variants. These figures are 
35 years old. And now we're learning about new things like that. It's like, and someone this week goes, oh, there's with belly button and without belly button Greg Valentine. There are more people at this table than there are at Greg Valentine's this past weekend. (laughs) (laughs) There's also different uh, hair color Greg Valentine's, but I don't count all that stuff. This Valentine is a great figure, but it always bothered me how ginormous it is. What do you mean? I like like it. You like that it's so big? No, not, not that he's jacked. He's too tall. Well, they're all kind of the same I mean, height. He's the same size as Andre. Is that not true? Well, Andre's well, Andre's squatting, squatting, but Greg's got a little bend in his knees. What bothered me always about this beefcake is like the abs look kind of cartoony. You know, like they're sticking out a little much. And he has like this weird shaped thumb. Well, he's well, po- po- what, putting himself over. But it's like a, a stupid, stupid f- face. <laughs> That's what bothers me about him. What I liked about him is that you can, you know, shoot the guy into the ropes and give him the old sleeper. Oh, you know, man. give me the old sleeper. You know what I just realized? This is like almost identical to the Barry Windham Galoob. Yes. yes. The, <laughs> Good the, call. Look, yeah. the color, the hair, yeah. the pose. No knee pads. Yeah. The Barry Windham one drew money, though. Um, all right. Well, let's go to King Kong Bundy. That's the... If you if you needed a murder weapon, Kong yeah, yeah, that's what it... I'd say that's what that figure is most famous for, is his girth and weight. And, the weight uh, of this King Kong Bundy. Popular with the ladies. Uh, ooh, <laughs> baby. Um, I think a great, great figure. So big, so heavy. Just captures his likeness perfectly, in my opinion. Oh, I love that I figure. feel like if I needed... Ho- if I'm playing with these and I needed Hogan to like take somebody on, I think Hogan would... Be better suited with Bundy as an opponent, right? I mean, look, than too. Andre. Yeah. yeah, look, look at the neck fat on the back of. Uh, pretty, I mean, that's pretty King awesome. Kong Bundy. That's Dave Silva esque. Oh my god, <laughs> the neck fat here on King Kong Bundy, it's great. But what about okay? Speaking of fat, someone who's just chiseled, ripped, Mister Wonderful. Paul Orndorff. Look, this is. I mean, that's the epitome of a man, right? That's here. the most Jack. LJN there is right no and one no the double buy yeah I, there I don't, is I don't no think any other one physique. Comes look close. at that tapered waist here the double buy look at the lats that right there 80s hair I hate this one you hate it <laughs> yeah why it's too defined it's 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 r- very Remco esque but it doesn't look true to life tonight. so to me action figures are always supposed to be larger than life no, I need Not one of those arms true. atrophied, and let's. <laughs> let's do, what I'm just saying, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. Not in 1986. Well, I, I wasn't watching wrestling. I was five. Um, <laughs> like just everything. He's got the teardrop, and like everyone knows, like the obliques and all that. It's, it's too great. much. What, what I look for in a woman. That was his whole nice gimmick. He's a body squad. guy. He's a body guy. I think it fits his gimmick. I think it's I, good. I, I agree. Um, the face looks off. He's the, got not this, the best face. I'll, no, I'll no the that. face looks like an extra from The Sopranos. <laughs> it does actually. It's bad. It's not good. Let's move on to, uh, I guess, the most. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. What? The worst? This is disgusting. Oh, well, it's going to get weirder. Uh, Here, here's why it's weird. The hair's not colored. Okay, okay now. Let's talk about it. The, the George the Animal Steel. Folks. I love the molded on disgusting body hair, a la smart Mark Sterling. Oh, man. Um this is great, I think. I, the green tongue. This is what Broski looks like every Sunday night before he makes me near his back. <laughs> yeah. But um, he's a little darker than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more this yeah, color. Yeah, that color tan. Uh, yeah. The Georgia Animal Steel. The, the prototypes uh, have the painted on hair. Now, there are rumors out there that a couple are out there, but I don't, I don't believe it. So. I don't, I don't believe so it. I think yeah. those are customs. I mean, if they're out there... I don't know. I don't believe it. But it looks this, terrible. So the the painted version isn't like spotted. It's just like blotched. Like yeah. But, but it looks like a melted candle. I don't I, know. It's just I don't know. It's 1986. This guy's covered he in body came with a turn How too. are you going to depict that? You know, I, holding this figure, I think it might be one of the most underrated figures of all time. Really? With the look at the detail, just the hair molded everywhere. I mean, there's clearly a lot of effort went into it. But like I said. It's 1986. This guy's covered in body. How do we depict this on an action figure? You know, okay, I think but, they probably went about it the best way they could. But even like Jax and Mattel have painted on the body hair. This company molded it on. I think that that gets an A for effort right there. It's pretty gross. I'll take the painted hair over the molded hair. You would just want it to be smooth instead of molded like that? Have you touched body hair before? I know, but like, okay, so imagine if this was just <laughs> painted body hair on this, but he's smooth. That's at least molded and, you know, coming out, you know, larger than life kind of 3D. I love that to touch body hair, you had to touch me. <laughs> yeah. Old Big Razor Jones over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's body hair like? I don't even know. <laughs> Let's see it. I haven't had you any since 99. I don't know. Yeah. You know that our producer, Mark Sterling, has silver ball hair. <laughs> All righty. I've learned a lot about him today. 
<laughs> All right. All right. I think that's a Christmas song, isn't it? <laughs> Silver, Silver balls. balls. It's going to be this year, yeah. So technically, series three here. Uh, this is where we introduced a lot of managers. And I had that on the packaging. Yes. And some backstage people, which I really, really appreciate. Um, obviously, the popularity in wrestling is booming. And sure. these, are, these are selling well because they're going from five guys to, you know. To, to a series. Gene. Well, I mean, look, this series exploded. This, this right here, this series alone is enough guys to, you know, have a real healthy fig fed. I mean, it's so popular. We got two Coco Bewares. <laughs> All right, let's get into okay, it. That's, that's SD Jones. I think a Who's blaring that? special delivery Jones. Guys, uh, this is Coco Beware. He is an enhancement talent, basically, mainly. Um, Where's the bird? This is one of the great wonders of the LJ in like, line. How did he get. One figure? No, no, no. How did he get two figures? Now, this is a variant where, okay, this is clearly this is a variant. Clearly intentional. Um, you know, this was not a mistake. This isn't some weird thing. Like, that's a full blown red shirt. This is a full blown yellow shirt with a pattern on Even it. Even so, bare minimum Brian has to count this. Even I had to count this because it's too glaring. So that's why What's I have. What's your favorite SD Jones match? <laughs> Doesn't he get, like, absolutely smashed at, like, WrestleMania 2? Bundy? I don't remember. That's right. No, is that one? Is that one? I don't know. It must I mean, have been quite the impression. That's what I'm saying. Um, can, do you have anything? I mean, you. No. I, you run I've conventions never, and stuff. You got no, nothing? Yeah. No. It really depicts. I mean, the face is great. I'm not going to. I mean, it's a nice figure. But it's so colorful. When he first pulled it out of the bag, I thought, you Damn, there was a Coco figure. Yeah, you did get excited. Well, Coco's coming later on. Um, in a weird, like, is this a variant? Is there not? This is clearly a variant, but like, I have seen versions of this SD Jones in the tropical shirt where see how this detailing is the detail is nice and fine, where it ha looks almost like an airbrush, like blurry look. Like, that mm -hmm. doesn't count as a variant. Okay. This is clearly the variant the red shirt, the tropical. Which is no like, no doubt about it. Really, in retrospect, as a guy who lost, you know, 269 matches in a row, I appreciate that someone like SD Jones got a figure. This is like when Mattel made your figure <laughs> yes. and gave you the Chase variant. I do appreciate that. But in the same breath, it's so unfortunate that a megastar like Macho Man Randy Savage is in this line and he doesn't have a variant or like well, a Well, we'll talk about that in a okay. second. I'm just saying. Right. A true. A true. A true, a true variant. A true. Uh, yeah. a, you sneeze? God a true. bless you. A true. Um, all right. What about this? The Larry. <laughs> Larry Zabisco? Oh, yeah. What? You mean Bruno San Martino? Oh, Come on. Man. oh man. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Wow. What's the fun Larry Legend? Michael Jordan. Yeah, I know. He's really showing his Oh, man. It's early Christmas morning. I bet Bruno San Martino. What are you making oh, his hand do there? Don't do that like that. Come my, on. My biggest question about this is I don't remember Bruno so much in the fold at this time. He was like... I don't think even he was done being a commentary at this point. Yeah, I think he's like about to be on Donahue shit. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. He's doing like how did he get this figure? Like the Matt Classic pose. That is uh, Matt Classic. Uh, the pose. high trunks. Um, great I like figure. The figure. Yeah, figure definitely looks like Bruno. But yeah, they hit a home run on this one. This is one of I've never figures. seen this. And I, I got that at a garage sale or something, a flea market when I was a kid, and I had to like figure out who it was. Sure. Yeah. It's an unbelievable figure, and I love how it's not way super before jacked I, up. Bruno's heyday is way before all three of our time. Bruno was always super cool when I met him at like WrestleMania and like Hall of Fame oh, stuff I like have, that. I have a great Bruno story. I don't think I've ever told. So. <laughs> Bru uh, Bruno went into the hall WrestleMania in New York, what, 29? 2013? That's right. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I come down the elevator to the TV hotel with my girlfriend at the time, now wife, and I'm seeing Bruno, I, from across the lobby, I can see Bruno San Martino, I'm just a massive wrestling fan, and I'm always kind of like, what's going on? And then he locks eyes with me, and he like, and like, I've never met him before, but he beelines to me. And I'm like, what the, and my mind's just racing, like, what is going on? Like, he, he finally gets to me, he puts his hand down, and he goes, Mike the Miz, nice to meet ya. <laughs> you, you should go with I was... You had to go with it. I was zero percent famous. I had long hair like I do now, but I had just cut it literally like Mike's hair, clean shaven. So the mistake, I get it, and I'm sure he'd just been watching wrestling for the first time in thirty years or whatever. You went with it. At least that's my story. You know, at least I got something to talk about. Oh my god, uh, he was oh, super cool with me. I don't like him doing that with his hands. It's yeah, just like gotta leave him alone. Um, He's doing a DX suck it pose. He, he he liked my dad a lot because my dad was also an older man who worked out. <laughs> <laughs> No, here's the deal. <laughs> oh, Hulkamania. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Not happy. Um, anyway, great figure, Bruno San Martino. This uh, couldn't have sold well with kids. Nah, no way. I, it's, there, there's, it's, there's, it's like 
one of the more common, easy to get to this day because it doesn't it doesn't resonate with the era. You know, there is a term in the toy business called toyetic, where you walk down the toy aisle and you see this thing. It's like it just pops out at you, like buy me. This figure doesn't do that. I don't think. Did a great job let's, with the look, though. Let's let's talk about the most toyetic one in this set, I believe. Yeah, and you can counter that if you if you think. Uh, Terry Funk, one of my personal favorites. Uh, hat, removable, branding iron, which is badass. Uh, fits in his hand perfectly. And I like how it's like a hole in his hand. It's right? a nice, yeah. But it doesn't clasp. It doesn't way. ruin, you know, the the pose. Right. Like it's not going to fall out of his hand, enough, though, either, you know? Not super jacked. Very, I don't know. I think it's cool. Depicts the way he was. It's pretty accurate. Did the, the card say Terry or Jimmy Jack? Or I mean, Because he used like some sort of weird Hoss Funk. Or he used a weird... No, nah, it's Terry Funk. No, it's Terry it's Funk. Terry on Funk. the cards, yeah, yeah. Terry Funk. He was okay. always one of my favorites to play with because my mom's name was Wasn't Terry. Wasn't Hoss... That was his brother. Well, yeah. But but they named him something else. And Jimmy Jack's a completely different guy. Whatever. He had a, <laughs> he had a, he had a different name in WWE. No, he was Terry Funk. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's no big deal. We can talk about it. I don't really recall Terry Funk being in WWE that often. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm a Google machine. Oh, oh a Google, Google machine. machine. A live Google machine. He's for sure Terry Funk. In the, you have the poster? It's somewhere in the book. You're not going to be able to find it fast. I can try. Is it a, a cartoon? Turns out he was... Terry Funk. Okay, I told you. Haas is Dory, right? That's Dory's goofy name when he's there. I just knew they renamed all the other f***ing Funks. Yeah, and then Jimmy Jack is the guy picked on the Rockers and got him fired. Oh, there you go. Terry Funk at the Coliseum. There it is. In that outfit. That's exactly what his Mattel Elite's wearing, too. That's pretty cool. All right, moving on. You want to, like, let's get all the managers up up in a row and kind of get this going. The mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Uh, Captain Lou Albano. We'll throw Mean Gene in there, even though he's not a manager. He's the one and only. Well, no, we got another announcement. Mr. Coming. Fuji. Um, a lot of canes. Bobby the Brain, Classy Ray Blassie. Uh, but each one has a weird, not each one, but some of them have some weird variants, Brian. They do. Now, Jimmy Hart, mouth of the South. I don't know if you want to count this one. The lack of hearts on the megaphone that. oh i would not want the one you have in your hand right exactly I that's why i want so to me he's kind of as a variant because he's anal and nuts to me that's just like a mistake so, so why, why would i count that? i think we should create first of all guys let's <sighs> let's be honest we are the michael jordan and scotty pippen we did not work for ljn so there might be some mistakes in this episode we might have some of the figures not in the right set but we're doing this for the fans merry christmas guys so i think we should create a yeah. major checklist. If that's not a variant, how is this a variant? That's a variant because there's, there's intention behind that. Well, there's not that, intention with that. I, I think that's a mistake. To me, in my opinion, that was a mistake. Here's the thing. Maybe they ran out of yellow paint. I don't know. No, I don't think so. See, I consider I see SD Jones a true know. variant. This one I don't cons- – like I wouldn't display both of these, Brian. So no, like, I would throw this one in the trash. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have the hearts. It's a turd. It looks just like Jimmy Hart, though. The, the likeness is... It's cool. Did, have you ever been to his tiki bar? I have not. have you? No, it's closed. Closed? No moss. When did it close? Broski no, went like last year. 2019, baby. Oh, wow. I went, it ran out of beans and taters. Oh. All done. All right. I went, R.I.P. I went in 2018. Breaking news, folks. I was there 4th of July, 2018. <laughs> yeah, the car, Breaking news, The car folks. that was parked out front was for sale on eBay. You could get it for what you paid for your uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine figure. I walked in there with Chelsea to show her it, and like the Jimmy Hart cardboard cutout was there. She took a picture with it. Two minutes later, the real Jimmy Hart came out. She took a picture with the real Jimmy Hart. Oh, it was great. And then he gave me the tour. What a lovely um, day. Huh? It was a great day. Fourth was, of July. How was the food? I didn't eat the food there. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody did. So. <laughs> oh, Thanks for doing Jimmy. your part. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Is that why he's always with Hulk? Back to Hulk's handler? Thunder in Paradise style? All right. I know. Great figure. And it goes with guys like the Hart Foundation and anybody who was in the, uh, you know, who Jim Hart managed. Yeah. Well, but here, I don't know much about LJNs, but where's his squiggly? All right. Oh, here man. you go. So most of these are Brian's figures. I brought my no, variant. All the figures variant. on the table are going to be mine. Matthew here is going to pull out all the wacky right. whatever. And before we came here, I said, Brian, which one of... This one, this one, this one do you have? So I can bring the opposite. And he said that he had the regular Bobby Heenan, which has the swirlies, the swiggles on his shoulders. But this it's one does not. a little design on his lapel. 
Right. No, it's the shoulders here, down here. Whatever. You don't even know where it's supposed to be. I thought it was on the... Holy sh... Get together, Pippin. Man, this thing is over. And it said Terry Funk on the card, you dumbass. <laughs> What's wrong with you? God. Um, God. I've only been traveling right here, Marky, 47 hours to be here. my photo of Bobby the Brain with the swirlies on his shoulder. But I'm going to have to upgrade. Yeah, you are. But look at that Bobby Heenan. He's doing almost like a double thumbs up. Yeah. It would be cool if there was like an alternate pose prototype that somebody had, right? Um, of Heenan? Of Heenan. Uh-oh, we got a little comparison. Bobby the Brain Heenan, alternate pose, resin prototype, Man, a I thumbs up liked, and a point. I kind of like that one better. Right? Because he's doing like the yeah, point to the brain. The, it's more Bobby the Brain, you know? It's more now, iconic. How about the eyebrow? The eyebrow? Feels like the eyebrow's a little raised on this one. Here, yeah, he, his face even looks a little better. Like, they, they should have went there. I wonder why they changed. You know? I don't know. We'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah. Uh, Height? A little bigger. Well, the prototypes are a little, always a little bigger. But is this for sale? No, this is not for sale. So give me back. <laughs> um, I, I love this Bobby Heenan and all these managers were so uh, influential in the careers of these superstars. You needed them, and that's it's, one thing that Hasbro totally dropped the ball on. I agree, and it is obviously wrestling's changed in many ways. But the manager, the role of a manager, it's pretty crazy how that's just yeah, it's gone away. It's gone. You're kind of my manager, right? Not even close. Okay. The the, the Freddie Blassie red and yellow. They should have went with different colors here. Why do you think that? Because this red and yellow should be reserved for Hulk Hogan. I I'm assuming that that really was like a satin, probably gold, and that's what you get. And you know, there's also what that was depicted from. There's also an alternate pose prototype of him. But I, I love the classy Freddie Blassie. This is a cool. I thing. love the figure, but the I love color the... scheme I wish was reserved for Hogan. As a kid, I lost all these accessories. I lost them all. There, by the way, and this, especially for Conrad, this is a little note. All these accessories are so valuable and hard to come by and stuff because I saw like, you guys say? posting like on the boss man nightstick. Woo! Dude, forget about it. Holy forget, cow! But now, people are bootlegging yeah, them now. Now we live in a sick world where people are making fakes. Sick world. <laughs> sick world. We live in a sick world where people are making fakes. It's Ugh. almost like you know when you think a guy's like really tan, <laughs> and you find out not so much. He just rubbed a lot, bunch of. <laughs> On his face, yeah. I went on guys, Christmas morning. Yeah. <laughs> first, first priority. Presents, I did no. three times before this shoot today. Before this shoot, how, how many times did you tan? Zero. Same. Yeah. Always ready, baby. Oh, man. Always right. ready. Moving on. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We, we skipped over oh. Fuji, Mean Gene. Okay. Mr. Fuji with the cane. Bad, I, badass figure. Badass figure. I love like that, that, just the molding on everything. Top five. Oh, yeah. Top five. What oh, makes these five. figures, in my opinion, so much? First of all, Mattel's are great. But what makes these figures so much better than Mattel's or Jack's is that everything is one mold. So we can put, like, the back of his jacket. You know, everyone is unique. Some guys are bigger. Some guys are more buff, you know? I do wish the hat maybe would have come off. Yeah, but Fuji wasn't active. He didn't need it to come active. off. He wasn't yeah, wrestling. he wasn't active. So I'm like, glad it didn't. I'm it would have been one that. more thing for baby Zach to lose. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I love that he also does a little karate chop. He you is. know, a little karate well, No, heel. maybe he's mid-throwing the salt. Oh. Yeah. Use your imagination, will That's ya? cool. Uh, mean Gene, I loved as a kid because um, he is one that I had. He can interview Ricky inter the Dragon. Look, hey, oh, you want to talk to me? Okay, sure. Oh, Captain Lou, you have something to say? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Conrad I, Thompson? I know a ton of wrestling, not a ton of wrestling, a ton of radio guys who have this figure. Really? Like a lot of announcer dudes in radio and TV, they will have this somewhere in their office. Because it's like, just iconic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's got the... Uh, the old microphone there with the WWF logo. That's cool stuff. Now, there is a variant, but I consider an error of me, Gene, without the WWF on the microphone. Um, so you say Jimmy Hart and, and me and Gene, not variant, just... I consider those errors. So these are things that an LJN completist might count? Now, I think... Now, I'm. we're all sick about figures. You're about belts, other collectibles. Sure. I think... Okay, when the line is done, in our heads we create. Oh, there's there, this is a one more. I, there's yeah. got to be something else, yeah, you know. Yeah. So they create this. It's fun. But, but at the end of the day, I don't consider them variants. Like when I have them on display, I don't put both Jimmy Hart's. I don't put both um, me and G's. I don't put both Bobby Heenan's. But you do. So I'm less put, intense where I don't even own them. Like I don't even need a safety net version of that. So like I'll have this in a Ziploc bag in a tote in my closet, <laughs> just for peace of mind at night. Display. So we just can, in case. so we well, can go to sleep at night. Well, yeah, what yeah. if what if we have to film a Christmas episode of Conrad's house? So I have this. 
and I would have brought my swirly Bobby Heenan. I'll admit. But, but bare minimum, Brian, I think ruined the whole shoot, by the way. First off, you didn't even know the difference between your pipers. And we're, it's on camera. We're going to edit that. <laughs> if, edit if, that if, if you hadn't have brought this mean gene without the mic cube, this entire episode would have been for it shit. Been now, done. So I'm glad, canceled. I'm glad that you brought but it. Now, but now, but, well... I do believe that if Mean Gene did not have his microphone, this figure would not be as iconic. I agree. I agree with that. But did you know the original Mean Gene figure was not supposed to have the microphone? No. Tell me about it, Matthew. Da da! Hand pretty, painted. It's a pretty cool pose, but Mean Gene Okerlund. He's a little fatter. Whereas right? a little He's fatter. fatter. Uh, but this is shown in some ads. But he needs the mic. Um. He's got Michael P.S. Hayes as Taylor. Look at those pants. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Do do do. Uh, As you can see, it's all a great kinda... pose, and that's cool that you own that, and I'm sure it's very valuable. But it is. you can't replace having the mic and oh, 100%. The, your, using your imagination for all those backstage interviews. I was showing this to Conrad earlier, and he asked me if I should get it touched up, repainted. I said, "Oh no, 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 oh no!" Oh my no. god, he said it's that. like repainted the Mona Lisa. No, I asked. I said, "Does it affect the value?" Oh. If you, because this is this considered like a patina? Like if you're a gun collector, got it. The the gun loses some of its value yeah. in the history and the story if you clean it off. Other people still prefer it to be clean and and more traditional. I say no, saying. I want the antiquing. So, for instance, if this figure, this Ricky the Dragon, was all scuffed up, right? Had a couple scuffs from playing with it. We'll take you one day. We go into the shower, right? Turn that bubble bath on, you know, dim the lights, you know, light a candle. Uh, get the loofah on. We not little... exactly scuffs, dirt. These things hold dirt. But what I'm like saying you, is if S.D. Jones sticky. hit a big drop kick, boom, and there was a blue scuff, we could clean it with that loofah okay, and yeah. give him a fig bath. That cleaning is okay, but to retouch, repaint, oh, no, 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 no. Then, it, then it takes away from the value. But yeah. if you want to clean it... In a natural way, like there's other ways that we clean things. We use like I use some alcohol pads, maybe uh, nail polish. It all depends. Windex. If Windex something good. loses the paint, though, you can't fix that. Every time I get a, a, we call these loose figures, like a Lucy, like who's Lucy, a loose figure. Every time I get a figure from someone on eBay, I run a nice bubble bath and I clean that baby off. So give him a nice bath. Uh, pretty much every figure we're looking at today, I, I accumulated over a year. I decided I was going to. Put together this collection. I think we figured, I did it exactly like year to the date, which was kind of weird. But I cleaned all these. And you gave a bath. Capacity. Yeah, for sure. Was your wife ever in the bath with you when you gave it a bath? I don't actually get in the bath. I do it in a sink like a normal person. I do both. Okay. okay. Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> Captain Lou. Um, uh, great figure. Another kind of heavy one like King this Kong This is Bundy. really heavy, actually. Uh, a little shorter than the, the, the average. Does come with a bottle stuff? of booze? <laughs> it does not. Do you no. have any Captain Lou stories that would make you say that? Uh, no. Girls just, just want to have fun, right? Allegedly. That's yeah, true. Um, do you want to show? There's something missing on your no, Captain relax, Lou. relax. something it. missing on your Captain Lou. We talk about variants and errors. Now, Captain Lou, um, there's a variant, which that I think is the error, Brian. I think I you agree. need to get the better gonna, one. I agree. Uh, sadly, where he has the proper red on his T-shirt. Sadly, this is the, what the real T-shirt looks like. As soon as we're done red. rolling here, I'm gonna have to go on eBay and get the red Albano and the. Oh my god! I just realized this is a Matt Coon figure. Uh, <laughs> you still talk to that guy? We met Matt Coon. No, not on purpose. It does kind of look like Matt Coon. What, what does exactly. it say on your back? Any numbers or letters? It's like up in his pocket. On his pocket. See, mine's on the back of his vest. Whoa! Look at See, that. this is the stuff that's always so different. That's weird. Why is that there? Now show the camera that's different. Okay, mine's up behind his right butt cheek and pocket, and his is on his back. All right, so there's all these differences, different factories, stuff like that. Mm. This is the real one, I think. It's a great figure. I agree. It's a great cool figure. figure. I love like he's pointing to his, you know, he's, Top point, five. he's pointing to his guy. You know, he's pointing to sure. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Let's sucks. talk about Ricky. The, let's talk about Ricky he the sucks. Dragon. Sucks. Sucks. That's awful. I, I agree. the The prototype has some red in the, the tights. The prototype had red tights where it looked a little it's more. It's so plain. Yeah, it's very plain. Like the headband, like blends into his hair. You can't even tell he's wearing a headband. It makes you wish he had the white tights from Mania Three. It's like a Jack Leg Rambo. Yeah, I like that he's doing like the, the dragon pose. He's pose, trying to do the karate pose, which but is it's cool. just so plain. It's it's not I need, toyetic. I need Jake to to DDT him and put him to sleep. <laughs> that clip is so scary. Um, all right, what else we got here? We got. Hariba, one of the most common oh, God. Uh, LJNs, purple trunks, Tito. Uh, we'll get to him later. He was later a true variant, a repaint, if you will. Yes. Um, Classic this, figure. I think it's a great. His arms, <laughs> this is really nerdy, but his arms are so widespread when I 
display all these in my case, he kind of is like pushing over other guys and it drives me nuts. <laughs> It's because it's the flying burrito. I mean, I, not even. I don't know what. It's pointless. Um, I prefer El Matador version. Me too. That, that'd be pretty cool. Arriba. Um, here are the British Bulldogs. Two of my absolute Davey favorites. Davy Boy Smith, Dynamite Kid. Now, uh, Brian keeps the titles, the tag team titles, on them, but the single release did not have the tag team titles. These are from the, the tag team two pack. Technically, sure. Well, and it's the world title. Just, just painted brown. In your title expertise, right? It's the same thing. It's but terrific. I love yeah. these guys because they're like racing each other's arms. Like big win. I love these two figures. Uh, I don't know. I just think the Bulldogs are cool. They don't get a lot of love, really, in like the history. Like as I feel like, you know. Perfect power slam action, uh, sure. which is great. That and my kid do a nice superplex. Drop kicks. Or whatever. Day, whatever. Headbutt. Yeah. Uh, I got the Bulldogs on the side. Now, there are different versions with different Bulldog fonts. We don't count that. Do you, have, any, do you have anything like that? Uh, see, I don't have. If I, br- I guarantee if I brought my Bulldogs here, it could be a different font. That's but why. Not, okay. You don't the, I don't really count them as true right. variants. Um, let's run through these. Jesse the Body Ventura, which I always thought was odd because he for sure was a commentator at this point. Right. Yeah. If, if there was a, a Jesse Ventura figure with the jacket, with the fringe yes. jacket. I feel like he should have been in the manager I'd realm. I'd be and, in on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool figure, nonetheless. There's tons of. Like you, like we, different hair color, different, different hair, different color. Paint, yeah, but not no true variant. Um, I love the pose he's doing. Pose is cool. It's a great figure. It just he, if if I have a toy fed, he's on the outside calling the. Action, I think a lot of these figures I appreciate years later because at the time, like the poses are weird for your fig fed, but now they're posed so cool. So for display purposes, it, I mean, I, like I have all these in his display case at home, and I think it's cool because they're in the poses now. Right. You know, I'm not except Tito, who's got his arm spread and pushes everyone over. <laughs> Uh, magnificent Don Morocco, The Rock. Um, he's Terrible another one. Figure. It's just not very blonde. tall. Yeah, yeah. Which, Terrible figure. Which on the flip side, he's like he's a jazz guy. Super jazz covered by that shirt in this dumb shirt, which I get. I mean, uh, another little... one that they have. You buy five Moroccos. They'll have different fonts and okay. stuff like that. And we don't. Want but we don't count that. that. But it's a great. It's just got the red trunks. Like imagine if he had his tie dye shirt or something. I just don't know how they would even do that in, in the time era. You, know? okay. you got to put him with Fuji, do a little Fuji Vice action. There you go. All right. Who, there he is. Um, Let's, should, uh, should we get the Corporal Kirshner well, now? Yeah, even though. Even though what? What can you tell me about Corporal Kirshner? I, I liked him better as Leatherface. <laughs> uh, so Corporal Kirshner is another LJN enigma, if you will. Um, Jack like G.I. Joe. I mean, I mean, since you couldn't have Sergeant it's Slaughter, actually a pretty, the next best thing. It's a pretty badass figure if you look at it. I mean. Uh, but he's got all these different weird variants that involve his... Now, these I consider variants. Sure. I'm going to ask Conrad if he can hold the two these two Corporal Kirshners close to his face. And close look to at, his face. And look at, Bring look, them in for the real thing. Look at their cheeks and their face and see if there's any difference in the, the detailing of his face. I think mine is a sideburn, too. Or is that a mistake? Is there anything you see? Or is it just a sloppy paint job? Yeah, this one has stubble. There you go. <laughs> oh! He has molded on stubble on this Corporal Kirshner. Um, I don't remember much about Corporal Kirshner. Do you, Brian? He's, he's, in, so. he's in WrestleMania too. I know that. What, now, what do we got on the on the? Uh, I got eighty six, and this is the letter C on the left leg. Okay, so I have eighty six with A. Weird. So there's just so many differences. So do you count this as a true variant or an error kind of? What do you think? That's a variant. Because it's got facial hair. I would think the so. The mold is different. Are, I would think so. Are we so. going to keep going down this, this journey? Now, so this is him maybe like on a Monday. He, you know? he clearly lost. This is when he knew he was booked. Okay. And a loser shaves his beard match. Or did he grow his beard to be a heel? Oh. oh. Because it's a couple of days later, he has some stubble. <laughs> but then a couple of days went by, he went full-blown beard with Corporal Kirshner. That's like intense. His beard and yours are so similar. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a thumbnail. If you switched hats right now, <laughs> yeah. this could work. So, I mean, there is no denying this is a variant, Brian. I got it. Let me get, what let me what do you mean? I guess he's got a fucking I've ever beard. I've a bearded Kirshner in real life. Man, that's that sounds like a dirty porn <laughs> name. That's so annoying. A <laughs> bearded Kirshner. I don't think I've ever. Hey, Greg, I'll give me some of that bearded Kirshner. Man. I mean, you definitely need it. How do you not? I'm gonna be losing uh, sleep over this. Tonight. I'm going beard as my favorite of the three. It does look a little better, even. But I, I remember him clean shaven. But the poster's got like a slight beard. Yeah. Yeah. This stubble version. Or so stubble. Should I get it out? 
The poster? Quick. Okay. So on the poster, he's got a dark stubble slash beard. That's pushing it. Let me see. But he's definitely not clean shaven. He looks way more badass on the poster than he does right? in real life. I would, if I was a toy designer, I'd make him clean shaven. They'll be going off of something like what? that. What? I'd go with the beard. There's that's, not enough I'm not beard seen, characters not, here. I know, but that's not enough beard in the real, I don't know. There's reference that's, shots that he double. drew that from. I think, I, think, I think they're all accurate. I think you need all three. I think the Macho oh, no, Man is the not. best one. We didn't spend nearly enough no, time. No, no. We, we're we're in the main event here. We're okay. Ooh, yeah. And one of the most iconic LJN figures, obviously, the Macho Man Randy Savage. This is still, to this day, a pretty sought after I figure. love the bandana. I love the classic yellow boots with the three-star trunks. Yep. It's awesome. This figure was voted into the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Hall of Fame. Do, 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 do. Top five. That's a weirdly do, do. colored pink on that oh, macho. Oh, no. Um, How many did you bring? I brought all my machos. Oh, my God. How many is all my Keep machos? Keep mine away from, <laughs> away from his. Well, this first. going to get real weird. Prototype. Ooh. Unpainted macho man. How much did you spend on this? I'd rather not say. Nope. Come on. We're all friends. I don't know, actually. No way. I don't know. This see like, Macho ha has a fan base like obviously so, <laughs> gotta be way up there like, people are paying top dollar for something like this. Um, but if they're paying top dollar for that, they're really paying top dollar. I don't even know you have for the hand stuff. painted like, resin. Look, keep your hands away, I don't Macho do, man. I don't Notice the, the, the stars on the wow, boots. Wow, stars did, on that the didn't boots. Make the final didn't product. make the cut. Ooh, yeah. Man. Also notice the uh, the wristbands, different color. Connor, I like. Oh yeah, yellow. Dress. You had to. This pay. is awesome. You right? had. You that had, is like one of my top you, top prize possessions. You had to have paid a pretty penny for these. I'd rather not say. <laughs> is this? Yeah. Is this more than your title belt you won at WrestleMania? No. No. Okay. No. Because I I figured out who owns his belt that he the Intercontinental that he won at WrestleMania and. Tried to negotiate the sale. He's like, oh, that's way too much. So anyway, my Greg the Hammer Valentine. How does someone have that? We can't talk about it. We'll discuss it off air. Okay. I know, people. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I mean, I'm sure. Dude, this is the coolest thing you've pulled out so far. Don't tell me you can beat it. Okay. I, and this is where it gets okay, so, so now, weird and unnecessary. So let me just compare my macho to your <sighs> macho. But keep yours in your head. I don't want to switch. Yeah, I don't either. So to me, these look pretty similar. It's like identical. I don't know. Is mine a little darker? No, I feel like for once, uh, Brian's is darker. Yours is a little pale. Look, I have. Uh, look at my butt. Your butt is definitely different than mine with the the factory. I have a C. What do you got? I can't even see a letter in mine. I have a clear as day C dead in the middle. See, to 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 me, yours looks lighter. What do you think? I don't know. Okay, but okay, let's just. Agree that they're similar. I think as close as possible. You don't have okay. another macho figure. Dude. <laughs> this is we, terrifying. How many of these do we need? T dude. Now, this is, now let this me, is a sickness. Now let me say these are not variants. These are just errors that I'm a psychopath. The neon pink macho man. Definitely different. You could spot that difference. It's not really like. Conrad. You could spot like, that difference. It looks cleaner. Hot pink. <laughs> Yeah, yours is a better condition. No, it's, no, it's the actually his chin's got a big mark on it too. Keep going. Okay, so there's the hot pink. This is, uh, that's it though, right? I mean, we're, we're dude, oh no, that's not it. Um, he Ma is Macho. Is it safe to say Macho and Randy Savage is your favorite wrestler of yes. all time? Okay, we should start lining these up just so we can. What about this one? Now this is by far an error. <sighs> no star. Oh, who would even want that? <laughs> exactly, right? I would not want that one. Okay, no He's going star. Going out of his way to buy no that. No star macho man, but that's not all, folks. Oh, well, no, that's got to be it. That one's clearly purple, dark. yeah, darker trunk. That macho one's man. clearly way darker. I'll give you that. No, it looks the same to me. I still don't care, but now this was released on this carding and like a darker one on the black carding. We'll talk about later. Now let's. There's that, also. Can you a, feel it? Look at his butt. What letter do you have? Do you have a C? No, no, no letter, no nothing. Now let's find the big nipple Macho Man and the little this nipple the Macho dumbest, Man. This is the dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets. 
Okay. Look. Big nipples. How do you like your Macho Man's nipples? <laughs> little nipples. Connor, you see? I can't even really tell oh, you see. Big nipples, that, little nipples. Little, like point. Big nipples and little it's nipples. so insanely minute. Big, big nipples and little nipples. Dude. I'm missing Christmas with my family for this. <laughs> Mark, do you see the nipples? No. It's not even, yeah. <laughs> Let me get a better example here. Conrad and Mark are colorblind. Odds are against Oh, you you got, I can definitely see the nipple difference, guys. All right, I'm going to go for it. I can't believe I'm doing Big it. Big nipples and little nipples. It's so... But it's there. Admit that oh. it's there. <laughs> I Silva, mean, big nipples or little nipples? We're talking, Come in. we're talking. You're sick in the head, man. All right, good. You're... Look how big these nipples are on this macho. All right, we got to move it on. Uh, <laughs> Getting too weird. All right, so as we were uh, unbagging some of these because they came, you know, I had to package them and get them here in pristine condition because I was so scared. Uh, I had to ask you half of these guys yeah, were. About four or five of them, Conrad, who's a wrestling expert, said, who is this? Conrad, what's your favorite Ted R C D match? This one. <laughs> Versus go go beware. <laughs> so Ted R C D who uh actually awesome figure. He was a strong man, clearly. That figure depicts that. This is the one that got me though. You said this was Hercules. Hercules. Yes. So I we've never had a, remember Hercules. We've had a deep Marcos. dive uh on the podcast about this because we had both mentioned, hey, I don't recall Hercules ever looking like that. Um, and fans found, I believe it's WrestleMania 3. It's they like two or three. It's two or three. They ones. cut back, and he's already in the ring, and he's like peeling off that outfit. And well, then there, someone there eventually some, found a studio some shot. Studio shots. Yeah. But so we would prefer the one with the chain. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I remember. We, Which is we kind of that JYD chain. Kind of uh, ironic because this whole time we've been talking about toyetic and whatnot, and we're wishing this guy was just in trunks and not so dolled up like that and then Outback i asked jack. who the hell this guy was yeah outback jack i think i mean in the in the realm of ted rcd outback jack i think there was more plans for these guys you know you would think right and it just didn't maybe it didn't pan out he was one of my favorites because i went on vacation in florida and we found him at toys r us and i and i was like oh my god outback jack He's the, the, the doll or i mean the actor <laughs> yeah the he was guy. working at toys r us <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the late 80s uh, and here's the guy you were mentioning before the bird man he looks badass Coco with the beware. bird uh he was one of the tougher ones for me to actually track down and track Big down track down in good condition i love how uh, they frankie frankie program. alone is worth like 100 bucks if it's the real one people are bootlegging frankie Left and right, I know. Um, the prototype is have bl blue pants, but I like this. It's very I think colorful. that's, that's very this. colorful, cool I pose. It's kind of how like I would wear my pile driver. Oh yeah, right? sometimes love, right? You know, you know that song, that right, Conrad? Yeah, these guys suck. Oh, uh, the killer bees. I mean, bees. I guess you've got to have the Heart Foundation beat somebody. B. Brian Blair jumping Jim Bronze. Even the lines on the trunks though are sloppy. Just because I mean, the that's only... the times. No, and it's them. They suck. And <laughs> there one, I feel like I missed the heyday of. Okay, how stupid is this? <laughs> this who is, would who would want two Brian Blair? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, I don't. This is definitely one of those errors. Look that at his been butt done here. So many times, yeah. butt cheek Jones. Yeah, yeah, that's a. He got like a wedgie. He's wearing those Justin Gabriel trucks. No, he's about to. Uh, Take a suplex, or he got got suplexed. In yeah, it's so like this doesn't Look, count. This. this line gave up in the dick hair, the dick hole. <laughs> you see that? Look, yeah. the line doesn't even connect. Uh, they, they, I think they're very cool figures, but yeah, they're not like no, your top not. tag team. No. no, no way, no way. Those are enhanced I think, again figures. As a figure fan, I appreciate having anybody, anybody having the options. Uh, Billy this one Jack is Haynes. actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's got the it's tat cool tattoos. Figure. He's man. got tattoos, and this guy. There is was that the first LJN tat. Definitely. The hat's kind of cool. If this is in the order that we haven't seen the hat, removable. like the brim. Um, Oregon down the sides. He seemed like he was on a path for greatness at one point. I'd say he was kind of becoming a big star, and it just didn't really happen. So makes sense that he was. Now he's cutting crazy YouTube videos. <sighs> what about adorable Adrian Adonis? That's like top, top, five. top three oh, for top me, five. man. What that's a like, great That's figure. his only action figure ever, which but is a shame. The prototypes have talented. like these scarves attached to it. The, coming a down mold, a molded, a molded on, on scarf, scarf which i but I, this is cool i, I like this that. um i love the uh the face paint the uh, fat body yeah. that's, that's tremendous the pose awesome. yeah. the uh the facial feature great great we figure. were just discussing um someone had a autographed men on card adrian adonis and i was questioning the uh, authenticity because he passed like 
he was like let go right after that WrestleMania three match, and then sure. the figure came out, and like the window of opportunity to get that autographed. You weren't it buying it from so, Feinstein, were you? No, no, okay. no, I wouldn't do that. But it was too, it was just so minimal that I really questioned the authenticity of it. But if it's real, that's a pretty amazing piece. I feel like this guy should have been a tag team partner without Back Jack, just okay. based on the do you, presentation. Do you know who he is? It's Randy's dad. Yes, yes. Cowboy, Cowboy Bob. Bob. Who I believe so this is in an earlier set. I think we're going up a, an inaccurate list, but I could be wrong. Okay, either way, this figure has a kind of a legend attached to it. People have said that it's somebody else in this set. So, the legend has it, and there's never this has never been proven. But are you familiar with the Cowboy Bret Hart story? Yes. They're saying that they were, that thing was such wheels in motion that this is actually Bret Hart in the cowboy gimmick, and then they pivoted and said, oh, it looks like Cowboy Bob, why don't we just release it like that? If you go like that, it doesn't. But could, can you look at this alone and just think, man, that's Bret Hart, or do you think that's Cowboy Bob? Because it doesn't, doesn't look either. so much like Cowboy Bob. It doesn't look like Bret Hart either. It doesn't though. look like young stud Bret Hart either, though, so I don't know. See, I feel like this Cowboy Bob is uh, earlier, but who knows? We're making some mistakes here, folks. I'm not going to. Cut us some slack. I'm not going to lose sleep over what that. What about the, the hair detail on this one is interesting to me. I just feel like it's unique from, I mean, look at like Bret Hart's hair. Yeah. Versus this like hair. Curly, it's supposed to look curly. Like. But we're saying that this was originally designed to be Bret, head to toe. I'm with you, though. I'm yeah. just saying just all of the hair, I feel like they did a different style hair. Yeah, it's like set well, some is, three. Tootsie Roll Jones. There's some serious, some serious effort put into yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Well, what about? So, what, the, do, what, if you were a betting man, what would you say? No, I no. say that's a rumor and innuendo. Ooh. Okay. Well, Ooh. And before you get to Kamala, because I know you got a big yeah. story about him. This is the coolest Jim Neidhart has ever looked. Like as a kid, I was such a big Bret Hart fan. But when I think when you sit these figures side, side by side, I would go more Neidhart as the badass of the two. Um, I love this this set. Um, they they were released as a two pack. We'll talk about those later. But the anvil looks so great. I feel like like he's about to grab his beard and go, yeah, baby. <laughs> you know, he's got uh, the hand out there. I I always as a kid thought they complemented each other so well. Absolutely. Yeah. So that that part I loved. But when I look at these guys, just as a figure, he looks never like more, see him wrestle. More fun toy. And yeah. I'm like, hey, which one of these is going to be the breakout single star? <laughs> I'm going I, I anvil. Can, yeah, for sure. He looks like a badass. Great now, job there are, on this There figure. are the hot pink versions and the purple versions. Now, in my opinion, this is a variant. Mm-mm. 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 No, we, they just we, got the die wrong. Yeah, we've it's agreed. Okay. We've agreed all day. That's not a variant. That's an error. What, what do you got on the error. butt? What letter do you got on the butt? Because uh, it was got, made in a different factory or I something. I know that, but I'm just asking. Can you see a letter on the butt? Uh, 87? No, letter. No letter? No letter. I got, I got 87B a, on I, this butt. I got 06 on this butt. No. Was, yeah, he doesn't have an 06. Huh. That might be 07. That's or 07. 07. All but, right. I mean, which I, I kind of like the purple hearts better because it reminds me of like... That's not what they wore. The Heart Foundation is... They're not pink right away. But they were blue, or pink, then they switched to pink. Like it's famous, iconic. Why would you want purple Heart Foundation guys? Because this is like a purplish pink to me. It's purple. All right. So you're, you're, this is not a variant. violet. I just don't. It seems like a mistake, so I wouldn't count it. Check out this print. It says, and then Vince said, "We'll do whatever schmoz you want at Survivor." <laughs> but look at the poster. Tomorrow, the, tomorrow's the big showdown in Montreal. <laughs> the poster's like a, the poster's like a reddish on the Heart Foundation. That's a tag team poster, but uh, they're yeah. single photos well, the that's, same. That's uh, I feel like the, in real life they had tights like that, though. I don't know. I don't know. The hearts are great figures. Do you know who that is? I do know. This is Ken Patera. There you go. Uh, I need him to come with a big boulder and a cheeseburger. Ooh. <laughs> I like the weight belt. I do like the weight belt. It's a cool figure. He, he's flexing. Um, I don't like this figure. No? No. Not top five for me. No. He's another one, I think, if he, if he had... Stuck around, bigger plans for him. I don't think it really looks like Ken Patera. No, not at all. No, right? No. I don't think the hair is blonde enough. I can be convinced it's Bill Kazmar. Is this is this the worst likeness we've come across so far? No, there's probably been some more. Cowboy Bob's pretty bad. Cowboy Bob's pretty bad. Hercules, if you didn't know it was Hercules, you would never guess. It looks like it was just the outfit really throws you off because it's not so famous. I'll tell you the one that you guys, or that LJN really nailed, and that's this guy. This is top five. 
Another one that was very hard to oh, track. The crown down. makes it, man. You had to get in like good I want condition. one of these now. That's, that a, that's a, a toughie. I never uh, had King Harley race. My my neighbor Mike Nucero had it, and sometimes I'd go and play with it and borrow it. But I never had him in my fig fed. So when I finally got so <laughs> when I got when we got signed to WWE, my first check once we got you know, main roster contracts was buying the entire LJN set mint on eBay. That was the first thing I did. At the time, I was like, idiot. And I'm thinking, why would he do that? Now, I was like, I'm so jealous over it. It was such a great investment. <laughs> uh, they came pristine. I was like, oh, man. My only complaint with this figure is okay. I wish it had the full robe. Right? Okay, so it's not, we've before. discussed this on an episode of the podcast. That's not an accurate jacket. Like He never wore that. No. This is like some kind of artistic rendition. Mishmash. Yes. Mishmash of... Uh, Which they did, if you remember, like on the uh, the drawings of the Rumble posters, they made like Ric Flair's robe into a jacket. I see what so, you're saying. Yeah, it's, so it's along guess, those lines, yeah. But no, I need this as a robe. And, you know, let's talk about it. If, if, if Piper can get a kilt, why can't he get a robe? He's the f***ing arrest. So we know in the toy industry, like that's called soft goods and that there's a lot of cost goes into that yeah so. i mean i would rather have a robe that comes off than a crown you'd put that you'd probably let's let it keep on you'd, there you'd be losing something like that you'd, yeah. you'd lose like maybe the crown you'd lose uh the deco hits in the boot or something like that you know that's where I like, all the money i like the goes crown on the on the side of the boots i didn't realize till years ago i think maybe you pointed out that this is an inaccurate jacket yeah it's just kind of a make-believe yeah it never outfit. happened that way that's well, the only hit on the figure otherwise the effort's there, and it's pretty cool. All right, so here's the one that I, I'm familiar with. Uh, but before... Um, Moonbelly, Kamala, but not Moon, the Hasbro Moonbelly. <laughs> no, we don't want to talk about that. What yeah. a great figure, this Kamala. This is a cool figure. It's What's cool. under the skirt? What's under the skirt? Oh. Are we allowed to show this? <laughs> What's under the skirt? <laughs> what is that? Kamala's penis. Let yeah. me see. <laughs> 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 He's got no penis. That's about as toyetic as it gets. I mean, that he that needs figure, a blue chew. That figure jumps off the. Uh, no, this is a great shelves. figure. Yeah, I need Hulk Hogan and him to go head to head. Did you guys know that um, he was supposed to have an accessory? What was it? He was supposed to come with this mask. <sighs> come on. Wait a minute. Come on. Yeah, you made but, this. I did this not make this. You made this. I did not. Class. Hang on nope. now. You bought this as bootleg. <laughs> well, that looks awesome. Yeah, actually. authentic. Uh, Kamala mask. So that was probably what we just talked about. That got cost cut. Cost cut. See ya. I love this. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> That's hand painted. Hand painted. Um, I don't know why it would have gotten cost cut. Maybe they couldn't figure out how to uh, produce it properly. Wow. Um, but that's it. Fits perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's actually, fantastic. it actually looks even cooler. Like Way it's a great figure, gosh. but wow, that really makes this it. Not show. many people have seen that mask. I don't think. Have you ever? Have I ever showed you that? I don't recall us even talking about it. So, yeah, yeah, so I was able to get that and an unpainted version, who I sold to the Bushman, Mark Bushy. Wow. So nobody has this. Well, I believe I'm the only one in the if world. If it's hand painted, like that could be a one of one. We don't know though. What do you think the value of this together would be? Mm. Mm, it doesn't really matter. The mask alone. It's the, yeah. It's, there's some psychos out there, so I don't yeah, know. Like, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe over a thousand bucks, just because know. of the mask. Yeah, the figure's worthless. The figure's, it's not worthless, not but the it's figure doesn't matter Kamala. because you can just get it. It, it was released. You know that, that, that that's a potential one of one. It's really worth what someone wants to pay. If someone really wants this, if someone watches this video and says, "I want this mask," and they slide into my DMs, guess what? You're not getting it because it's not for sale. Broski has a price. Don't, what if I want to buy it? Ooh, I'm sorry, Conrad. No, I can't do it. Even though you you let us you know into your home, hey, I'm a barbecue. Holy I <laughs> showed up six hours before you. <laughs> let me take this. Mask you got to get that tan. That tan. <laughs> now he's like, let me just get that. Was all strategy. He wanted his tan to settle in for the yeah, shoot. Yeah, he asked where if I really had tanning beds here. He found them the whole thing. <laughs> all right. right. How about Jake the Snake? Roberts? One of my personal favorites of the set. Um, I love Damien. I love that you can mold. I had this around. as a kid, and I didn't never had Damien. I love that you can really yeah. just twist and turn that. I used to bite on that snake all the time. <laughs> what did you eat your LJNs for? Uh, cool figure. <laughs> I think weird. if, I mean, you've met the real Jake, obviously. He's a tall uh, man. Yeah, should have been taller. This, this, this figure should have been taller. Yeah, he's uh, taller than Kamala. Uh, he's a big, Jake's a big dude, and this this is like one of the tinier LJNs. That doesn't yeah. make too, too much sense. But his Hasbro is very tiny as well. That's true. He, he's in that road dog Billy Gunn realm of like you don't realize how big they are until right. you meet him. You go, oh my god, uh, what a great figure! And the the snake complements it so well. 
Luckily, it's not molded on like his thumb wrestler. There's a thumb wrestler, Jake the Snake, where the snake's molded on. It looks like someone took a sick uh, green poop on his chest. How come the real Jake never wore a hat to the ring? Actually, was, I, I was just thinking that looks pretty good. I mean, yeah. if he's a snake man for real, yeah. he should have worn a damn hat to the ring. Um, here's one of my absolute favorite oh, LJNs. That's, that's up there for me. It's top five. An- top announcer, five. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Um, I, the real sad thing I hate about this is that his name is spelt wrong on the packaging. Yes. Really? It's devastating, yeah. But, but his poster is spelt correctly. Yeah, but then the poster inside is correct, so it's, it's very odd. What does it say on the card? It's Double N. Like, man, like, no, it's like M-C-M-A-N-N. Like yeah, that. two N's for sure. Something yeah. weird Isn't like that. that. crazy? How do they screw up the guy right now? Right. You're a fire. Whoever designed the packaging. Uh, and whenever people make a Brother Love Custom, they use this figure, right? I have a Brother Love Custom with that. with that Because he's holding the mic. Because it just yeah, makes sense. Well, in and, and that era, and maybe now, Bruce was so far up his ass. Well, it's, <laughs> it only, it's a tribute. It makes where sense. does Bruce start and Vince completely, end? Completely it's makes... like real life. What was that movie where one guy's eating the other guy's shit? Those human centipede. Oh man! Oh, Someone told me about the movie. I go, thanks for telling me about this. Is I'll never, like, I'll never watch this. Is that like the writing staff in WWE now? Just oh, human centipede. Just, I don't know. You would know. Vince, is that is the it Bruce your best friend? I don't know. Is he? <laughs> I, I, we hope he's okay. I haven't seen Bruce since um, last year. It's, it's uh, an uh, interesting. He's only yeah. my second favorite Pritchard, though. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Vince McMahon used to have a custom, I believe, one of one. Uh, not custom, was made by LJ. Another reason him. that he's my dream get. Because uh, dude, the, suited Vince. There's a famous photo of Vince like leaned on his desk at Titan Towers. I love that photo. And in the that glass, guy. there's a like uh, this figure, but the it's blue. painted completely different. So there's got to be some kind of significance to that, I think. I love the uh, the chin, the dimpled chin. It's not just a dot. It's actually in the mold. Yeah. That's, That's cool. That's why LJN it just captures the likeness per- like perfectly. When they did. Um, all right. And, and it's tailored like nobody's business. No, it's, be, it's, it's a beautiful figure. beautiful figure. All right, so um, there's only one left on the only table only one left here. to talk about and, here. And how weird is this? We're talking about soft goods earlier. She's got a little soft good action here. Yeah. So there's a lot of money the went into that. Lovely Miss Elizabeth. This face the, is not anywhere near Miss Elizabeth, by the way. It could have been better. I agree. Uh, this is the one and only female representation in the line. Uh, there's the bracelet a cup- doesn't move. I thought bracelet, it would. No, there's a here couple. the... Prototype resin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, it obviously doesn't come with the, the soft so, good skirt. There. Does this come off? Oh yeah. Yes, the soft off. good skirt comes off. Well, Velcro ski. Now, as you can see, and this is pre SummerSlam with the big teeny weeny bikini, right? I don't. Uh, uh, not quite yeah, because sure. that, yes, that was 80, 89, 88, 88. 88? Yeah. yeah, so this has got to. This is coming out. So a there's bit a couple of variants. Now Brian doesn't count these as variants. I do. Now here's a variant. This is this is another rabbit hole we're going down here. Liz with purple skirt. Mm. If okay. you count SD Jones with two shirts, you got to count Liz with a different skirt. This is a variant. In my mind, I'm like, the factory's like, we ran out of gold. Okay, that's switch it. That's what happened. We don't know. Well you, well, you don't know. No, we don't. But in my mind, that's how I'm going to okay. depict it and continue, well, here's the continue thing. living my I life. I think the pink purple thing could have just been the dyes were different. This is not that. This no, is yeah. definitely a different piece different. of fabric. Yeah. So like the right the hearts the pink purple diff or different okay or she the same she doesn't okay. stand keep either, going down right? here. no this one doesn't stand mm, well, very di- very difficult okay now, this is uh keep keep going down this rabbit hole bro okay. screen now this Liz looks very similar to that Liz mm-hmm. Conrad feel the legs on that Liz Conrad if you will <laughs> give it a, give it the, the squeeze test give it a little squeeze squeeze, squeeze those legs yeah they're touching okay now but squeeze they're... squeeze these legs. <laughs> What the f- is happening in my life? <laughs> much, much softer, right, Conrad? Okay. All right. So Brian, what do you think? But I, this is my first time doing this in real life. Oh wow. Right. Okay. So <laughs> very soft. Very she soft feels like, like an LJN. Right. This is like a hard plastic that all these figures we've touched. Right. This, today is, like, aren't, this is like a true LJN right? with these legs so loose. Yeah. Don't say Miss Elizabeth had loose legs. <laughs> no, I thought so, man. So there's, come back from the dead. There's so, but there's hard legs and it's soft, soft legs. legs. Um, now Which, this sounds like a Buff Bagwell <laughs> promo from 1998. Now it's right. about to get weird. I've talked you, about you it. You thought things were weird. Right? I've talked about it on the right. pod. 
couple times. This is a world. How does it get weirder than this? It gets weirder. This Brian, is a worldwide Brian unveiling. Brian always, uh, he always cuts me off when I start talking about this on the pod. I don't know why. There's nothing Because it's so this. awkward. So when I acquired some of these prototypes from ex-LJN employees, uh, I guess in the factory or in the workshop, wherever they were messing around one day, and made a couple. It's a Miss sc- Elizabeth, a, a sculptor did this as a joke, or I don't know. They made a couple Miss Elizabeth. <sighs> not only did she not have a skirt on, but she didn't have any clothes on. Oh my God! She's uh, That's she's a- naked. How does that happen? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Hang on. How does it happen? We had a huge debate about Macho Man's nipples. <laughs> that yeah. These are shoot yeah. nipples. Yeah, we jump we jumped the gun on that. Um she's also doing a different pose, like a come here pose. Yeah, this is like Oh wow. But she know. does have shoes on. And hand on the hips. <laughs> she does have shoes on. I I mean I've seen versions of this where she's like wearing like lingerie. So Oh one, my gosh. They Yes. They put a little <laughs> fur on the me- burger. Remember remember George Animal Steel? <laughs> yeah. It's back. <laughs> I can't um, believe this is real. Broski, you yeah. had to have asked some questions before you purchased such a Do they have a painted item. version of this? So yeah, that I've, too. I've seen right. a painted version where it's like... Uh, oh, there's a, I've seen some painted versions where she's wearing like lingerie. Yeah, I feel like you're nervous because there's a naked woman here. <laughs> Chelsea. It's a toy. <laughs> it's a toy. Um, I, it was just people messing around in the factory. But it got to the point where they painted one, and there's multiples. The face so is different. So then there's like more to it. Different poses. Mark, oh, you gotta man. blur all the cheeks. <laughs> it's it's sexy. I'll give him that. So on my display, I have her. Macho in the- Man. If this was the late '80s, and what we know about Macho Man Randy Savage, he would murder the entire staff. <laughs> yes, right. Absolutely. 100%. No bracelet either. No gloves. Well, she's no. She's naked except for the shoes. But anyway, uh, this figure... I can't believe I'm saying Hey, and by the way, look at these high heels, by the way. They're gimmicked so she can stand a little better. But these are, like, Oh, good spot. Yeah, wow. Did you ever realize that? On that? Yeah. She's got real high heels. high heels versus real. Um, Man, this really is a new whole definition to finger bang here, is it not? (laughs) (laughs) Figure bang? Figure bang. Figure bang. Figure Figure bang. bang. It's a new shirt. Uh, Um... She stands pretty well, actually. Oh, wow. She's so you, ready you for you got to have some kind of story. So, Can we like, find the Macho Man and put him in front of her? Oh, baby. Uh, so they were just messing around in the factory. That's it. And I have this on display, but in the back, because it's kind of weird. You, know? you so, think? <laughs> you think this is weird? So I, I have, like, Macho Man's covering her, you know, protecting her, so you can't see. Has what? Chelsea seen this? Is this why you have seven Macho Mans to cover up your <laughs> naked lips? That's exactly why. Got it. All right. Next. Does Chelsea Has Chelsea seen this? Does she know it exists? Yeah, does Chelsea know you have a naked Elizabeth hiding in well, the back of your Well, luckily she doesn't kid. listen to the podcast and she certainly doesn't watch our YouTube videos, yeah. so we're good. Okay, I guess secret safe. <laughs> All right, moving on here in the history of WWE LJN action figures. We have our next series in front of us. One of my favorites, uh, bar none, 100%. A lot of cool characters in this one. Uh <laughs> The one that jumps off the page to me, a lot of people. Bam! The first ever Bam Bam Bigelow uh, action figure. Just a super toyetic uh, character in the history of pro wrestling. Now, what's interesting about a lot of these figures is that this is where a little yeah. A lot of these figures. And Conrad's got the number one uh, culprit in his hand. A lot of these figures, for instance, for the honky tonk man that you're holding. It's the whole uh, the base mold of his mold is blue. is blue. So that's why he has this like purple. It's weird. Tan so look at his, his, his hand right here. You can see a little his coming hand's through. got a little breaking through. So these figures, once you play with them once, that was it. It was over. It's literally over. So Bam Bam, if you play with him rough, like this is a pristine condition, Bam Bam. He's right? black He's underneath. Tremendous. The, uh, the paint and the, the head tattoos. Yeah, the more you play with this, he would just turn completely black. Hockey Tonk would turn base. blue. Hockey Tonk would turn blue. One Man Gang. One Man Gang, which rules. You can see there's... He's you can pre- see his boot that's coming through. Here yeah, you go. Yeah, it's I believe DiBiase is the same way. DiBiase turns black. So uh, now in this day and age, like in this, you know, in going back and collecting these, it's super difficult to find these loose and in good condition. Or this guy sucks. Hockey Dog Man? HTM? I'm big, I love I'm that figure, HTM though. Fan. No, I'm a big fan of yeah. his work. I mean, I knew he had Heat, Roll Todd. Yeah. I'm just saying, this figure. Oh. Eh. Well, I mean, here's the thing. You're comparing it to this this Bigelow. It's just two different characters, though. You got a chicken <laughs> heel and a badass. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just the way they look. Like, I just don't think they nailed this one. I, 
I would play with this. I would not play with this. Yeah. Well, wait till you start playing with it and it turns blue and it's <laughs> way less fun. I feel like we're talking about Blue Chew right now. <laughs> uh, this one, not not my favorite. Unless it's Johnny V. Known, I wouldn't have known who this was if you didn't tell me. Yeah, an accessory piece, you know, not, not a needed, needed addition to your collection. Even as a kid, I was like, I knew who it was, but... Yeah. You don't have to have it. Didn't need, I did have it, but you didn't need to. You know, he's wasn't a, he's actually a very common, common and like... Is this the guy who inspired Vince to get in the wrestling business? It's the brothers, right? The Valiant Brothers? Well, but is this was, the guy who was I'm like... I believe sure. it was him and his brother when, they, when, he re- when he was a worker. Bills. When he was a worker, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Now, now what about Jimmy, this? Jimmy and Johnny Valiant. What about yeah. One Man Gang over here? What a great figure. I love this figure. Well, top five. You're into it? Yeah. Well, I love that one. I mean, one he's man. basically my dad. See, I mean, look. Uh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> holy <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's have a couple more uh, drinks and shave that mohawk in, and we're we're in business, baby. Halloween. Holy. Oh, let's do a Halloween special next year. And you can oh, shave your head. We should. What about the Doctor of Style Slick? I love that figure because he doesn't have another figure, and it's just he's got the cool. rings. Slick's um, a very underrated manager, I think. I love how he's all so era. skinny. Yeah, he had the removable no. hat. He looks like a soul, Disney bro. character. A job soul, bro. That slick is the only figure in this collection that I opened from the package because the guy. When I, I believe he might have gray under this. Is this all gray? I think you're right. Yes. And was he just like walking down the streets of a job soul, bro? Music video. The the jack is just blown in the wind. I love it. <laughs> it's great. It's toyetic. Now here comes the axe, this... but there is no smasher. <laughs> Do you What's know that? Put the back here. Um, I don't really know. I mean, it's just the way it's aged. Do you aged, not bathe these motherfuckers? Trust me, I bathe all of them. So, yeah, and there's some have a shine, some don't. This is Axe. Uh, he's doing that Jesse the Body uh, pose. Exactly. It's a very odd pose. Um, it's the texture of the paint, I think you're referring to, and I don't know. I don't have a good answer for it. But look, this is a, an odd piece. Like, it doesn't have Axe. I mean, and, it doesn't have I, a smash. I'm sorry. I hate the paint, too. The I don't paint, like the, the paint. Ba- it's not it's the not, classic. It's not what was made them popular, so they kind of... Uh, I need more silver. Yes. You needed to buy two axes and pretend one was smashed. Yeah, so you well, know what you're saying? The they, never well, made, they never made a smash, so you were stuck yeah. with just axes. We'll talk about Very that sad. in a little bit. What about, ho, hacksaw, This, this one was a real uh, pain in the ass to get. It's, the coolest uh, thing about this is the 2 by 4 The 2 by 4 is... I love the wood. You don't even need the blue chew for that wood, so baby. So this, this figure... Uh, without the two by four, a hundred and twenty five dollar figure. With the two by four, five hundred plus. I love the. the that's how much of a up. difference it makes. I mean, it's cool the way it poses. It can rest on the shoulder like that. That's pretty cool. They didn't pretty make unique. his eyes wonky enough. <laughs> no, need, yeah. I need wonky the, the, the hacksaw signature cross. Girls out. in cars. I think these are cool. I mean, girls in. I'd cars. much rather have this Strike Force Tito. Girls in cars. Than the you know singles push Tito. So I don't want either one of these. <laughs> So I had the single uh, Rick Martel, and then when the two-pack came out, I remember as a kid vividly seeing the two-pack of Toys R Us, and my dad wouldn't buy it for me because I already had this uh, Rick Martel, and I already had a Tito. But hard, he, hard bought times. Me, he bought me the rest of the figures. I basically had everybody, so I can't really hard, complain. Hard times. But I love I love, I love, love the re, a good old repaint here. Um, do you know when I was packing these up, I was thinking, obviously Rick Martel also has a Remco, AWA Remco figure. There's one other... LJN character that has a Remco can either one you name it. Wow, got him! Well, give me a second. I mean, it, got him. Give me a second here. Who? Ha- there's only so Rick Martel and one other guy have a Remco and LJN. There's nobody else, and I'm not counting Thunderlips Hogan because that doesn't count. Referee? No. So really three? No, there's no. Who? Hey. You give you tapping out? Uh, Come on, Jordan. We've already looked at it and talked about it. Once you say I'm going to know, I just don't, don't know off the top of my head. Jim Brunzel. Jim Brunzel. <laughs> comes, with Greg Gagne. <laughs> <laughs> comes with Greg Gagne. Comes with Greg Gagne. Why are we spending this comes much with time? The, comes with the free Brunzel. Greg Gagne. That By the back. way, if, if anyone listening wants to curry favor with the New Japan office, send them a Rick Martell doll. Yeah. I've had conversations north of 30 minutes about the greatness of Rick Martell. I love Rick Martell. What? With, yeah. I'll tell you who later, but still, I was like, how random. That's your <laughs> that top random. guy. And I guess you had to have one of these. Are we going to decide who this is? So you asked me that off air. So referee figures are, are meant to be generic? 
because there's no so representative the contracts. They don't have royalties and stuff. Do you think Hebner sold these out of his trunk? Just I'm sure. I'm I wish sure. the hand would have been open so you can like put them down and be like, that's a, one, two, three. That's a for three. real missed, I'll, I'll, missed I'll opportunity go. big time. I have a funny story about this one. Um, in the Hasbro era, I obviously was obsessed and playing with my Hasbros. And one day my dad came home from work and he had that. And he's like, oh, I got you the ref- like a referee. And I was yeah. like, dad. This guy's way, he's way too big. He's not on scale. I can't use this. And I, all these years later, I feel like a real dip because I feel like a kind of like how I just called my dad up for not getting me strike. Force. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I healed my dad up for getting me a gift. And I'm sure he found that at like some discount stores. I thought you were gonna say the funny story is that you only have one referee and you don't have both. Oh, man. oh. what do you think about that? You need that? both. No, you don't need. No, because the, the refs shirt. are in only wore blue shirts. That you doesn't make both. sense. You it doesn't don't make need any the sense. Shirt. This is the accurate. That one. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. This is a custom nonsense. Yeah. Here no, yes. It's a mistake. It's not a mistake. I mean, it happened, but it's it's no. not real. So, like, why do it's I care? It's not real. Yeah. It's real. It's not real. That's like it's no, still real to no me, stars, Dad. Macho Man style. The like, cone keeps it. Doesn't it's the equivalent be- of this being Axe. That is Axe. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't have any silver paint. By the way, this looks like a custom. That's real. Yeah. I love that figure. But it looks sloppily painted. Because he's... The black base underneath, I think they just like, just cake it with paint. Yeah. Do you know that I'm called the thousand dollar broski, Conrad? Do you know that? Are you really? I am. Because some might cost a little. Oh, man. Some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski, and your fingers <sighs> will be black. <bought. Okay. laughs> so Ted DiBiase is holding, <laughs> holding the money. It's <laughs> three in the morning. I know. Is it three in the morning? No, it's yes. Not. No, it's it? Christmas morning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh. We started at midnight. You know, Christmas. You know what cost a lot? These two Hulk Hogan figures. Um, now there's the yours is kind of yellowed, the, but it's supposed the, to be this, white. This Hulk Hogan smokes cigs. So <laughs> it's it's a, shirtsly yellow. <laughs> it's, I'm okay with. That. I think you have to rebuy that Hogan. There's Kyle, no way. It's like a five hundred dollar Hogan. I'm not rebuying. You should definitely rebuy. Or, yeah. or just try bathing them. Other. Is, <laughs> is this something with the light? I thought, I thought no, we were getting clean. That's the way it's here. aged. No, there's I, nothing I, I can do about I that. I have a minty, minty white one, brother. And that that figure does come with the WF Championship. And then there's the red and yellow, which is more accurate that I never had as a kid. I never had the red and yellow as a kid. I don't think I even knew these Hogan's existed for years and years and years. I think as a after kid, because everyone years, I knew had that, and it's like that day and age, like '80s, '90s kids. You didn't have multiples of people. That wasn't two, a thing. You if know? we're getting two Tito Santanas, let's get two and three Hogan right there. Sure. Right. But a great set, I think. Even Conrad is not. Conrad doesn't love this set. No, no. Here's the deal on this one. The the two best characters in this set are right here. He likes the heavyweights. Yeah, I'm just saying. Look at the face. Look at the face on 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 this guy. And then you know the the detail on the head, the bright paint. Great job. I just think yeah, these are two. These are the two best looking figures of the bunch. It ain't. Valiance and ain't jacking off Tito. Right here in the why why, are why do you make all of the guys Tito? Been jacking off today? They're, they're Always flexing. ready. All right. Oh, just whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, uh, just here. Get ready to blow because so is the LJN collection with our next series. Yee. All right, here we are. Um, I want to introduce these as LJNs, but are it's they really? Grand toys. These are grand toys. Basically, LJN. Uh, it just kind of got transferred over to Grand Toys in go. Canada. You can read that. The there black the cards. Read that. Yeah, it says uh, Titan Sports Incorporated, 1989, Grand Toys LTD, made in China. Yeah, so these are the famous black cards. Um, there were also re-releases of the Hogan in red, Hogan in white, Hockey Talk Man, Jake the Snake, Macho Man, Brutus Beefcake, Ted DiBiase, uh, Hacksaw, Big John Stud, Axe, Adrian Adonis, and the ones we're about to talk about. So all they the all, black cards. all came on black carding instead of the blue that was throughout the whole series. Um, these are the final six new characters, if you will. I did not know these existed. When I was a kid, nobody had these. I don't remember them having these. Because these were Canada. They were available right? only in Canada. Or yes. like the magazine Or through ads. a ma- ma- mail order, yeah. So um, Let's start with Ravishing Rick Rude, who... What, great figure now at the time. You can't play with that guy. He's, he's, he's pulling his trunks up. He just took a piss or a shit. Yeah. You know, he's doing the pose. He's Wait. flexing his abs. You, you, can't, you can't do the rude awakening. You can't do anything. You Actually, now like, that we called out, who was it? Paul Orndorff's abs or someone else? Yeah. Orndorff works too. That wasn't enough. No. This isn't enough. Yeah. Well, Orndorff had too many. The, this one I really like. I know you guys don't, but I like this. It's ravishing. Down so the as side. an adult collector as now, adult collector, I love amazing. it. Amazing. If I was. Uh, whatever. Oh, the tattoo. Tattoo is badass. Cool. If I was a five-year-old kid and I got that, 
There's zero and playability. he's the top guy, like, you know, taking on Warrior for the IC title at the time. I'd be like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? No, well, I, flying headbutts. That's I don't it. Know. I wouldn't say that. I like. I mean, he could take. He could take posed, pedigrees. If he was posed like this, I would have liked it a little better. I don't know. You know, posed like what? <laughs> I'm doing the Rick Rude. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, all right. What about Andre the You're, Giant? Finally. I mean, this was needed, right? Finally, we have black strap Andre, right. as they That's call the it. We remember him. the kids this call it, it in the ground. So you you remember your friends having this Andre? Because that'd be a rare have. No, I do. I, I remember um, at least two of my friends having this. Cool. Yeah. Easily customized. I mean, even the the paint job by Grand Toys is not too perfect. No, you know? yeah. I mean, Conrad's no, pointing out a lot of imperfections on all these. Yeah, the uh, the paint here on on Ravishing Recruit. And um, definitely the paint there. It's just a, a little sloppy okay. I mean, on the Warlord. Like we said, Gra this too. company, Grand Toys, just kind of swooped in for the final sure. not even year and kind of got – these are already kind of in the works, the, I guess, and they the, got him out. His whole skin tone, Haku, like it looks like he was in a fire. Haku, which I think is a cool figure in the way that it looks and the pose and stuff. When I got this, like within the past year, I thought it was fake and someone had painted it because I had never had it's it before. Paint, right. Yeah. Because just the way they are, they're so different. They ha the paint has like a gloss. I don't know if that's coming sure. across on camera or whatnot, but that's a little different than all the other it definitely figures. Looks you know, like they're just made different. They're made by a different company, technically. Yeah. You know, uh, my nana found me the Haku at a garage sale. They're not that's like bendy at all. They're all hard. Right. As that's when I found out these existed, and I was blown away and i went to this comic book store oh my god this haku is horrible Terrible. that's why i thought it was like refurbished or something this is like a god. diseased haku bro yeah oh my god, he's not god. Well. bro i don't bro he's definitely got staff i think he's been Mercer. cleaned up baby cleaned this up not, this one's not like clear. repainted no I did, I did like Bro. extensive research where I was like, it's not. They're not going to let this. They all look, 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 they all look like that. Oh, He's getting pulled. I don't know. I don't know if mine looks like this. Bro. Hey, let me, let's me let just talk about for a minute that this Warlord paint I is think, badass. I think he's the like. This is the low key the, leader the, of the group. The sleeper of the set. And, and how about the, the two tone hair? Badass. I mean, just really, really well done. How about Warlord right now probably is still that jacked and looks like that? I, uh, <laughs> if you heard his steroid story with Mr. Perfect? No. So there's a famous uh, story from the shoot interview era where uh, Warlord apparently asked Kurt to inject him. So he goes to do it. And when he does, it like shoots up onto the wall and he says, Sorry, buddy, you're full. I don't know why, but I just think that's the funniest <laughs> line ever. Like, you can't possibly fit yeah, any more yeah. steroids in you. Holy smokes. But no, this this figure, the paint, this is the best of the bunch here. Uh, and unfortunately, no barbarian to that's follow right. up. So, so you're, you're, back, you're left a little stranded. On the back of this uh, black card, it showed photos of the superstars, not the pictures of the figure. And there's a brother love, your buddy. There's a smash for demolition, barbarian, bad news brown, and the bushwhackers never released, never saw prototypes. Speaking of prototypes, this prototype was supposed to be King Haku with the crown. Same and, crown as Harley Race, and that's right? what his poster is, King Haku. But I'm, bro, I'm looking at this. This is one weird looking figure, brother. I was gonna say it's I a custom like, job, but then I, when I got it, I asked you and sent pictures, and then I did research on my at own. It in real life, it's not good. But see, one thing that makes me believe it's not a custom job is the foot, right? The foot, because it still has it. Yeah, yeah. I just gonna, think I'm, that's the way they were. I'm gonna take a look. I have two hakus at home. I'll take a look. Why do you have two hakus? You don't. You don't listen to me. My nana got me one. Oh, it's you in my have, childhood you, you collection, have, oh. and I have a re-bought uh, minty one. Okay. But let let's end it on a high note. Wait, wait, we're not there. Well, yet. I know we got two more guys. Okay. Two guys well, left. About this to segue one. Oh, you were gonna skip. This is outstanding. His hair is too long for this generation of, of boss man. It should have been more of a buzz cut. Uh, I agree. Good call. Uh, but really great job on this. This is all sort probably of the most, leaf painted. Yeah, probably the most detailed. The most detailed paint. I mean, yeah. the hand cut. Probably the whole line, deal. right? But, like, that's that's like raised up. This is very, very well done. This is a very good um, figure. All these figures, loose in this condition, are like $500 plus dollars each. I love that he's nice and thick. What, you know? He's heavier. Yeah. You know, big, yeah. big Bubba, you know? What's the nightstick cost by itself? It's like 300 plus, if it's real. But you don't know that. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. Bootlegs. Um, I wish there was a, an Akeem in this era. I need him Twin to be towers. a little fatter, too. A little fatter than I that. I don't feel I, like I, I, I feel you on that. But the, for a toy, like I said, where they uh, accentuate the positives and hide the negatives, Yeah, he's right. He's about right. Really, really a good figure, though. Yeah. Well done and... 
you know, this is the era where he's feuding with uh, with the big uh, the big champ, Hulk Hogan, and That's on true. the cage matches. But this is the worst Ultimate Warrior figure ever. Bro. No, nah, I love I love it. You lo- I love it just because it's they got this it. Like at least they got it out. Title yeah, at least they at least they made like, it. This isn't like WrestleMania six. I it's would like have liked five. white boots, not it black. Look like him at all. I think the black boots is really what throws it because mm. everyone I'm remembers about white his boots. Head though, the head does not look good to me. It's not great, but it's I not never, bad. I, it's not bad. I do appreciate the tassels on the body. I think they did a good job of that. Mm-hmm. Very colorful. I can appreciate that they're trying with the uh, logos all over the boots, but I do agree with you. Probably the wrong color. Right. You went with a yellow, an orange, a white. Anything but black. I can't really even recall him wearing black boots in the Ultimate Warrior era. I don't remember that either, do you? I, I can't recall either. But it's definitely one of those figures like I never had and one of my neighbors had it. So I was so jealous that he had it. Yeah. And there was like this, uh, it was released in the early 90s, a squirt Ultimate Warrior figure. Just like stood like this and water would come out of his mouth. That's, and that's what I the used. The scale is pretty close I, and you I can use it. more on the trunks. I mean, you're asking for a lot. I mean, I agree, but I mean, well, I'm saying we got all this detail with the yeah. with the fringe. Why can't yeah, we yeah. get? I love it. It's like the perfect like run it. Da, 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 I, 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 da, I, I think it holds up over time. It's a cool figure. It's just you know his rookie figure. The Hasbro figures were way better. Oh, of course, but that's just because you know it evolved. It's just it's just sad that this this was the end. You know, like this is it. Like I said, there's there's the axe that never came out. The barbarian, the bad news brown. Right, Went out with a hot with these two. There's a, I mean, there's a couple missing pieces for sure. That I wish it would have continued to like round out the tag teams, but I just think that you know the Warriors going to be such a big important part of what they're going to do as a company. For sure. Yeah. And this feels like a half-assed attempt. I mean, first of all, Zach is 38 shades of, of tan darker. <laughs> And I that's mean, just not we, even close. I mean, he, Haku isn't even as tan as he is. Right <laughs> that's now, true. So. Slick isn't as dark Slick as Zach. Tan, so. <laughs> Man. And, uh, I, and I feel like if you play with it more, some more black will shine through. <laughs> <laughs> He's green under there like a shirt. Uh, you're green, motherfucker. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's yeah. round out the set, huh? Yeah, let's finish up. All right, I'm even going to look at my phone to round these off. Some of these were also re-released or released as tag teams. There were the British Bulldogs. Uh, Brutus Beefcake, Great Diamond Valentine. Two, two packs, you should say. Two packs. Heart Foundation, Hulk, Hogan, and Hillbilly Jim, the Iron Sheik and Volkov, uh, the Killer Bees, and Strike Force. And they came with uh, bigger posters, as you see here. They're a little taller. Um, there's also like weird mishmash, like two packs that like, it's just two random figures in a, they're like overstock figures. I don't even count those. Then of course there's the ring, which you do not have in your collection. I don't, I don't own a ring. Um, you need the ring. Any rings. Any, the no, LJ no, no, LJN ring because it's just so massive, and I don't, I don't and know where to put it. Cage, baby. I, that might be the selling point that the cage is so cool, the blue cage, and oh, I love maybe that. one day. It's iconic. Then there's I'll, like the. I'll move some things around and figure it out. But the, the, the stretch wrestlers, there's the bendies, the thumb wrestlers. Uh, we're not going to talk about all that stuff, but there's a couple of things that we did miss at one point in time. LJN was going to make articulated figures. This rules. And this is a Hulk Hogan articulated figure, almost like G.I. Joe style with the legs. Um, It's about the same size as a Hasbro. So it's crazy that ahead of its time, before Hasbro came out, these are more detailed than Hasbro. I know, and they look like, just looking at that, it looks like it would be more fun to wrestle with than a Hasbro if I were a kid. Right. What could have been? Hogan can do like the big boot with this one, you know, or the leg drop. Um, I actually have a King Kong Bundy like this. First time seeing this in person. Um, Be careful. In, fi- in theory, this was supposed to be what LJN was, but the reps sold the bigger version. Well, this was the same size, but this this particular st- style was going to be like a subset a like sub- later a on. A new division. So with the, the, with- they made little bendies. Those were what were going to be the original figures. Um, those are cool. There's the thumb wrestlers. Like I said, the, str- the stretch ones are like my absolute favorite. This is Did like, you ever have those I'm stretch so wrestlers? I'm scared to touch this. Yeah, please, I did. very scared. They would explode and be white powder all over. I had a lot of the the, in the eighties with the other wrestlers. A lot of the thumb wrestlers I had as a kid, and I'm sure you those are very common. You see them, and I remember being like, "Why is this guy's butt exploded?" You know, and figuring out. My brother showed me, "Oh, you play," you know, that kind of stuff. Um, There's Um, also the big Hogan and Piper. Yeah, the big Hogan and Piper. Do you have those? Uh, no, but of course I know what they are. I've I've kicked the tires and buying that Piper a couple times. You gotta get Hogan. So cool. I know, but then size title. Yes. The kid size title. The Hulk Hogan workout set. Is that LJN? Yes, it is. There's yep. a bunch of LJN things. We're not going to list everything. Okay. Yep. But there's one thing, another thing that never came out. Oh, you brought shirt. this? Oh, man. He, he went way too. Killer Khan. Yeah. <laughs> with hat. 
Okay, tell Conrad and all the listeners now, what this exactly. Is resin right here? This is resin. Now, I'll be honest. This is not quite a custom. This is, what up, this is. up for debate here. Someone who I acquire a lot of these LJN prototypes from, ex-LJN employee, including this. He had the wax. The wax figure comes before the resin. It's a wax figure first. He had the wax figure of Killer Khan. Some of the fingers were broken off. The leg was broken off. What he did wow. was that he made a, a resin cast and made only five of them and, and, and engraved the bottom of the foot. So, so this is truly... See, this is three of five. I've seen four or five online. Well, see, this... So was, this is truly was what the figure was supposed to be. And then, right. you know, 35 years later, almost the guy made it himself. What a cool figure that's it's, cool right? I, I yeah. love this so i de i don't consider this a custom even though it kind of is but it's kind of not there's so much history to it that it's not a custom this is the closest you'll yeah, ever get to it i agree um he looks like he's from the set of uh big trouble little china yes <laughs> i don't even remember killer con being in, oh, in very WWE. Brief, i think he has like a uh, trading card i can't even think of I don't, you know the story is from sonny ono says that he uh, was starved out. That's the reason he had to go home. Hmm. Not making enough money. He made absolutely wow. no money. New Japan was getting the checks, apparently. Mm -hmm. And so what they allowed him to keep was so oh, nominal so minimal, that he man. had to go home and that try sucks. to make money for yeah. real. Which, which is crazy when you think about how much stuff Booming he was 80s pro wrestling and those, in that era. Those hillbilly gym action figure checks would have really saved the day, huh? I'm really excited about what you've just pulled out. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, God. Pull right. it out. Earlier, we showed the G.I. Joe, or not G.I. Joe. It no. was the Sergeant Slaughter figure. That was meant to be. That was meant to be. Potentially in Series 1. Joe. And this is an actual G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter that many consider to be in the LJN line. But technically, it is a Hasbro figure. It is a mail away. It even says G.I. Joe on the side. And that's why I don't count it. But in the ad, he's beating up. WWE Which is like wildly business. illegal nowadays, but whatever, 1987 or whatever. So he's, 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 he's literally just, in the ad. It says, mail away in order to Sergeant Slaughter. He's beating up other L real LGM. So he's slightly taller, slight, but it's the same kind of thing. Now, a lot of these. He looks badass. It's an awesome figure. You need it in your LJN collection. I, I can't count it. You got to count it. Um, well, my what other are these problem, selling for? 500, 600 bucks? <laughs> More. More? Yeah. A lot of them have the green disease. Mine's pretty good. It has I'm a little looking, couple spots. Where's your disease? Uh, okay, so. The, I've never seen one that doesn't have the disease. Where's That's your... pretty good. Yeah, you have little spots. Okay, so this is not really a good depiction of it. See that right there? Yeah. Um, one of the more jacked figures. Yeah. Uh, so I've never seen a slaughter without the disease. There's another reason I don't want it. And we haven't we really talked about the LJN disease. Uh, how do we describe that for Conrad and our it's listeners? It's like a mold that you There's can't There's some clean kind off. of like internal mold that gets on these figures that just can't be stopped. If they, if they get that disease, they can't be cured. You can't wash it off. You can't. It just is what it is. And I've gotten through that past year of like trying to piece together this collection. I get some of the mail and I didn't look at the pictures close enough and I see, oh no, he's got the disease. It's over. I think, Brian, if you don't have this in your LJ it's collection, it's a, it's a G.I. Joe. I think you He's need depicting least, his character I but in G.I. Joe. It's even. meant to this be put, is G.I. Joe and his leg. I understand it's that. It's made so by instance, Hasbro, not LJN. So, for instance, I do not keep this on my LJN display. Oh, he's admitting defeat. No, listen to me, Cole. Above my LJN display, I have LJN miscellaneous with the stretch figures, the uh, you know the thumb wrestlers, and that's where I keep him with my prototypes. Right. Miscellaneous. If I loved Slaughter, like particularly, I would grab it. But let me just say, it's not part of the collection. Joe got too. I think it's kind of fun that the best LJN figure isn't even an LJN. That's kind of bull too. That's another reason I wouldn't do that. Well, guys, LJN isn't dead yet. Well, it really is. But the major wrestling figure podcast has some LJN figures, and it's Christmas. You call me the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting. Wait, who calls you that? You call me the thousand dollar broski. <laughs> who calls you that? And sadly, today, sadly, fans of our show do. This morning on Christmas, you can call me. Broski Claus. Broski Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Because I have gifts for everybody except for Silva. I'm sorry. I don't oh, oh so man. <laughs> Can't mooch on us, man. I don't know if Silva's going to be here. Oh, I have no gift for Silva. I have no gift for You know, gifts for his kid. We know that. You know, gifts for his poor kid. It's coming. Priority mail. Oh, please. Uh, Mark, you got to put that camera down because I got a gift for you. The first gift is for you. So you got to put the camera down. You got to get the shot, Mark. Oh, man. Want me to? Can I do it? Okay. <laughs> That's oh, gonna be a disaster. Peter no, Parker. Yeah, Silva could shoot it. He's over there doing nothing. <laughs> well, this is heavy, man. Why is this so heavy? 
Mark? Okay. Let's see. Merry Christmas. What is this? Is this why you couldn't bring a present for Silva's kid? It's out of focus. It's, it's, tap on my face. It's going in and out of focus. Yeah, tap on my face. There you go. That's scary. All right, let's see here. What? <laughs> Why did you make it? What the heck? A smart Mark Sterling LJN figure. With my new gear. With your new gear. Wow. Before you even wore it. Well, I guess now after you wore it. With my With hair? The gray hair. <laughs> well, the gray the hair is accurate. ball yeah. hair is underneath. Wow. The chest hair painted, right. not molded Mark, like a... Uh, back. I'm getting like a shoulder pump. Okay. This, <laughs> this is crazy here. Put that on. <laughs> Wow. The painted chest hair, which is what George the Animal Seal should have had. <laughs> Good lord. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, it's a really wow, intense. You, very cool That's figure. Very Brad, I got a little gift for oh, you. Oh, man. You know I make, got a gift for you. You know they make real action figures to me. Well, <laughs> Mattel doesn't make them, so we got to do it. Oh, man. Broski JN. Let's see. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> this is intense. <laughs> the hat. The hat, baby. Uh, the hat makes it. I look like one of the forgotten figures. sons. <laughs> you, yeah, you look like you're from the episode. You're from the Lost Boys. Yeah. Um, of stand? course. Oh, he stands. What pose? How did, man, this blows my mind because that's not a real pose. So of like, course, I had to get one for myself. <laughs> what a little bitch. I love he wrapped his own. Oh, you wrapped, he him wrapped his own. He wrapped his own. What a scumbag. Ryder Claus. Yeah, what a scumbag. Uh, what could it be? DiBiase's body. What Let me guess. DiBiase's body, purple suit. I'm calling it. I'm calling the shot. What do you know? It's oh. Similar to DiBiase's body. That actually, it's cooler. Purple suit got the mic. Got the thousand dollar broski bucks. Look, we're interviewing somebody. Um, who should we interview? Should we interview? Let's get let's get Mark in the middle to interview Mark. We gotta switch sides with the mic. Whoever made these for you did a this is very but impeccable. There's, there's one guy that we're missing. Very quality. There's one guy that we're missing. Somebody else who anchored this whole episode. Drum roll, please. You have that one man gang? I packed it up already. Mr. Conrad Thompson, well, I got the big sorry. bag for you. What could it be? You guessed it. You guessed it. That's a big drum roll. It's a huge <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, the yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Styling it from a while. Oh man, look at Bro. this collection oh, of man. figures. No wonder LJ went out of business. <laughs> Holy shit. Conrad, I just want to say Merry Christmas. Thanks for having us here at the Conradison. Oh, thank Thanks you for, for coming, uh, man. This is awesome. Thanks for up all morning with us, all night, you know, wrapping these gifts. It was <laughs> a dream come true for me to come here and talk about Macho Man's nipples with you guys. Man, I got to see Elizabeth. <laughs> and uh, I just want to thank myself for giving me this awesome Unbelievable. <laughs> you know this whole thing is a sham for him to order that. Of course it is. He wanted one. Justify that he got that for uh, himself. But and thanks. You guys, you guys can keep those. They're not for my own collection. You can keep them. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Guys, Major Marks, I hope you enjoyed this very special <sighs> Christmas episode of the Major Wrestling Fever Podcast. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, right? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, ho, everybody. ho, ho. One, two, three. I'll be back, Jack. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase, and when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%.